I want to try some today. <clears throat> um, Success. Yes, you burped. <laughs> Stalker Patty is on the bleachers. Now, Yay. last time she was here, she was screaming bloody murder for her life. And it's now part of the intro to this fine radio show for yeah. the next couple of weeks. That was a good one. Now, hear me out. I want to, like, maybe do some nice nice radio with Patty today. I listen to Ronnie Fez. She's singing nice Christmas songs. Everyone gets along. Did Why you notice don't we she take sang a page that? from the Ron and Fez book and see if Patty can maybe do something where we're actually like, wow, Patty, who knew? Did you notice that uh, that she sang um, Santa Baby yeah. to Fezzy, Fezzy Baby. Uh, for, for Christmas? Yeah. And um, the next day, Eartha Kitt, who made the song famous, died. <laughs> you killed Eartha Kitt with your lousy rendition. Mm hmm. <laughs> Patty, what could you do for us today, for real? Where we leave you alone, we don't throw liquid shit on you, or try yeah. to cut your hair. Or... What does Ron and Fez do like that yeah. makes we want that, that's Fez... fun, yet entertaining for the listeners? Right. Once in a while, they'll just ask my opinion or on something and whatever. But who cares about that? <laughs> I know. And, so, and I, we should try that. to do something a little different. Today. All right, we can do that. I kind of want some of our guys back. We you know want something? All our guys to Ron and Fez because you know, stupid me, they they treat them like human beings over there. You know something? Fucking Big A has theme songs now. And, oh, I know. And, and scheduled bits. I'm like, they started on our show. Remember that? I want yeah. Some the, of our guys the, back. The big Philly motorcycle run was right. his first appearance, and now. Uh, now he's uh, on the uh, RNF team. Right. Uh, Patty, yeah. if she wants to talk about something, I, I, I something relevant that we've been talking about, the election, the inauguration, mm -hmm. uh, the energy, the excitement, all mm -hmm. that, maybe she's got an opinion. That's a big topic today on the show. That's, that's, that's uh, a good idea. That she would uh, like to add in. Patty, yeah. have you been keeping tabs on this? And well, how do you feel about the upcoming inauguration, the, the feeling? Uh, do you think it's good? Uh, what, what, what's your opinion? Well... I think that he seems like he's going to be more of a people's president. He seems to have uh, feelings along that line about the uh, people that he's, you know. Looks like? He looks like he's going to be the people's <laughs> president. He really does. I think he wants to have some kind of a stimulus like package the rock. that he's going to send down to New York to help us keep the subway lines and stuff, you know. Patty, what, what? Is, what is a stimulus package? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to give money to the MTA. You know, and uh, the MTA doesn't need what, money. Who said that? Yeah, yeah they do, and they're going to up everybody's uh, fucking uh, fares well, by well, like three bucks. Actually, right. I, I well, it didn't happen I yet, but I think that's what he wants to do. You but, know, give some money to New York. How do you what? Up that's places. not giving money to New York. That's giving money to a company that doesn't know how to run its own fucking business. It's not giving oh, money I know to that. The difference. He, they make announcements. You can't even understand them, so you have no idea what's going on when the trains are held up. Yeah, she's kind of like, uh, who's that, uh, Joe the Plumber? She's like yeah, a regular Yeah, regular, regular Joe. Yeah. Can you imitate Patty the Toilet Clogger? I want her to <laughs> imitate the <laughs> announcement she hears on the subway, because they can't fix the speakers, right, Patty? Um, I can't understand them, because it's but all how does static. It sound? How does it sound? How do you, I can't imitate static. Static. Yes. Static. Yeah. Static. Guys. Patty We're trying today. We're yeah. trying what is that to be an equal to Patty today. <laughs> Thumbs up by Patty. That it, Patty? Yeah, it's yeah. exactly what it sounds like. So we're like, what happened? So, Patty, do the impression. Yeah, how about, well, it doesn't like even touching his stuff. I understand. How about no, you do the impression yeah. into the mic? It just sounds like. <laughs> Like that. That's what it sounds like. They don't have a good set PA system. I think it's outdated. You think that's the most important thing on the trains? Sometimes, yeah. When oh. you're wondering why it's taking so long for the trains to move, and you know you got somewhere to be, I would like yeah. to know yes. why we're being held in the station. Right, and they come on, they tell you, and with a clear PA, you understand it. Yeah, I'd like to know what the situation is. Because it's going to change it, right? Yeah. <laughs> When the train stops in a like in the tunnel, and you're stuck there, what's the difference if you know or you don't know? Ah, oh, good point. Maybe I have somewhere I have to be, and it makes me more 
nervous about having to be somewhere where I have to be. And then a lot of times... It's not going to change gets, it, though. Yeah, what if you go into the electric chair? He'd be happy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's even funny when you get to Whitehall Street to get off at the ferry that they stop in the middle of the tunnel and it's five minutes before the boat and then by the time they pull in, it's two minutes after the boat Patty, locks. You know where you know where the information, you can get it, and this is a secret, so you know, keep it to yourself. Step out of the train. There's two rails that the wheels are on, but there's a third one. <laughs> oh, that thank if you put you. your That's if you put your ear on it, no, you put your ear on it, and they tell you someone whispers in your ear, it's gonna be five <laughs> minutes. So just do that, and make yeah. sure your feet are in water when you do it. Is your literal patty? <laughs> literal patty. Oh, that's where the power goes through. Of course, I know the third rail. Yeah, there you go. Not well yeah. enough. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to push her into it. Hey, hey, I, hey, oh. hey, we're trying some different things. Oh, shit, that's right. Oh, boy, do I go right for the throat. She reminds me of Robert Shaw, although I wish she reminded me of him in the Take Your Pelham 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Great movie. Sure was. Patty, can you sing a song for us today? I was a little jealous hearing you sing on Run and Fez. She did a great job with that uh, Fezzy Baby uh, song. She sure did. She actually has a, a very angelic voice. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Patty, no. what song did you sing to be for nice. us today? <clears throat> I don't know. It's just that I'm not prepared. Not prepared. Not prepared. I had to go online to YouTube for the Santa Baby I mean, one and do prepare. it a couple times <laughs> with the music there. Boo. And then I did it with David in the studio and he recorded it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. then what happened? I'm, you can make that one out for us. I'm hearing a buzzing in my ears. I'm hearing God. I don't even know what it I'm is. Subway announcements. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather hear. <laughs> All right, Patty, we're trying, but I, uh, I want Patty to sing. I bet if she sings something, I'll change our tune a little bit. Yeah, I, 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 fit, I, I learned that we've known you for 12 some odd years, and I, we don't know anything about you because we're too busy, like, trying to horrify you. Yeah, goof on you. Whatever. Give you a heart attack, you know. Yeah. Hey, Patty, maybe Never Seth Rogen could bring the mic in here and you could talk in here. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Patty. Hey, Patty. Here comes Patty, everybody. It's Patty. Hi, Patty. It's cool. You look good, standing straight, walking tall. <laughs> you just. Yeah, why I want to make soup out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, why don't you stand straight anymore? What? You don't stand straight, really. Well, I'm being treated for arthritis and stuff, and I have some spinal degeneration due to it, so I'm in physical therapy once Holy a week shit. for it, because uh, I'm in pain. Worst improver ever. Yeah. Why? Patty improv rules. Do you, you know, realize, and, how old are you now, 52? I'll be 54 in June. Oh. What the fuck? 50 was just yesterday. Yeah. Four more years where you're not using that snatch of yours. Relatively speaking... That's not that old to the point where you should start falling apart like this. Right. Your 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 what your calcium's all fucked up. Well, I'm low in vitamin D. I'm on 600 units a day. I have to take <laughs> Actinol once a month. Vitamin I do the third, you know, the vitamin once a month dick. pill. If you had vitamin Yeah, she dick. needs vi she's low in vitamin D. I have to dick. start <laughs> on B12 supplements soon and I'm going to be on a multivitamin that's very powerful. <laughs> multivitamin that's very powerful. For some reason my that. vitamins are not being absorbed, but because I eat you just well. Shit in the pills out whole patty. You know, yeah. I don't eat <laughs> junk plate, either. Uh, I'm vegetable. <laughs> Bulls, fish, and uh, you know, <laughs> yogurt. Well, you don't eat beef? I don't like meat, no. I saw a video, smart. you know, a PETA video. Yeah, even... Those are funny, right? Yeah, well, I saw a guy <laughs> stepping on a cow's face and the nose was bleeding, and I was like, that's it, I can't eat meat anymore because I couldn't deal with the video. You see the one uh... where they take the skin off and it's still breathing? <laughs> oh, I saw scream. all of it. I don't agree with their tactics, but they did find <laughs> it. They did found their company on. Good principles, uh, right, but wait, wait, not wait, good tactics. Wait, what? Oh, wait, you no, will I... tell us when that cow stops screaming, <laughs> wait, won't you? You don't agree with their what? Tactics. I don't like the fact that they walk into people's stores and mess them up. I, I, These I people trying to run a business to try to get a message across. So you're saying that you, you can lobby for laws. Do you have any tattoos? And stuff, you know. But not go into people's hey. property and uh, destroy it just because they want to make their point. That's hey, not the so, right so approach. So what are you saying? You don't, you don't agree with what? I don't agree with their approaches. Yeah. What do you mean by approaches, though? Like they're, You don't you know, walk up to someone. 
somebody wearing a fur and throw paint on them. You don't go into somebody's Yves Laurent shop and destroy it. Wait, but that is... Would, what are those if kids you support it, Yves Laurent? You don't agree with what? Yeah, they're... T they're what? They're tactics. T-A-C-T-I-C-S. Maybe Laurent. I don't say they're it you, right. You sound right? Laurent? They're tactics. What would you say? Eva what? Eve, who? What's the designer? Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, that's right, actually. Yves Saint Laurent. They went into yeah. a Paris oh, shop and destroyed the whole place. Yeah, but does they can't, they can't. Saint why Laurent. do you agree with that? I don't agree with that. That's the Why, tactics but... I don't agree with. <laughs> Back to it. Goes, oh, yeah, wow. Destroying course. people's property. There's no reason to do well, that. But no, you could go down to your government and lobby for, for laws, you more. know, to be amended or changed. I'd, I'd rather turn on the radio and hear Stactic uh, than hear this crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, Patty, if you don't agree what we do to animals, then you should be supporting the people that throw the paint and stuff like that. No. Yes. And... I don't support that. No. Why are you wearing fur boots? You fucking animal hater. It's yeah. imitation fur from Payless Shoe Store. Payless. <laughs> yeah, but they get that fur from cats. People no, are... they don't. Yeah. Yeah. This That's... is imitation. Mm. It's all imitation. So because... Perfect imitation of awful radio. <laughs> <But> because, <laughs> because you're not eating meat. Yeah, that's you're a problem. You're falling apart. That's a problem. You need a little bit of protein from like right. beef, maybe. And, you know, maybe that's like a little propaganda. Maybe they actually treat the cows nice, but they found one asshole to do the right video to scare everybody. Yeah, and one thing I didn't understand was that the guy was filming a cow going through that. Why didn't he throw the camera down and beat the shit out of him? I would have. Why would you hurt the cow? No, oh. beat the shit out of There's the guy hurting one guy the, cow. Up the cow. That's what I would have done. I would have kicked his ass. Hey, we oh. do Is this the video you were looking at? <laughs> look at no, this. Uh, I didn't see that particular look at it, it's one. Funny. Hey, look, it's just uh, you know. they're all having fun. These animals are living high on the hog. That's yeah. right. Life of Riley. Look, see? Oh, that's Ow, what I, that's I saw hurt. something like that with the look, cow. I, uh -oh. Instead of taking pictures, I would have beat the shit out of the guy well, doing the, the video. stomping. Yeah, look at the video. Oh, oh wow. Laughing. They just chopped that head off. Oh. Well, you got to club him. Keeps oh. the meat tender. Oh. I don't understand why people would do that. that. It's still blinking. There's a human. If you're gonna That's raise a, a sting. That's if, a if you're gonna raise an like animal for consumption, <laughs> you know, <laughs> put it down in a humane way. Yeah. You know how videos. long they that did. would take? They, they kind of like uh, slam dunk the animal right on the dirt. Ah, here's leather for the people that don't yeah. just eat meat but wear leather. Here's the cows. Those cows oh, always wear. I say they're being yeah. treated well right like now. Show off. No, no problem. Yeah, this looks like America too, doesn't it? Yeah, look. Look at see? this. You're looking at a third world fucking savage nation. Why well, are they showing this? We can we support well, it by buying. Well, we're doing well, that in we? slaughter. Yeah. They're doing we'll that in slaughterhouses here. <laughs> no, they're not. They lull them to sleep with music. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Then again, I saw another video called Farms had Ow, nothing to do hurt, with Peter or any nose. animal protection agency, and they were raising them humanely on the farm. The <laughs> best way they found to put a cow down is to just put a bullet between the eyes, and the cow just goes down. It doesn't feel anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and they raise hell. it well and feed it well and take care of it until they're ready to oh. down it. Oh, right. they use that. They use that Double. thing like they use on it. Wow, they're skinning. Oh my God, wow. that reminds me when I went to Chinatown and I saw them carrying <laughs> real pigs off the truck, and I had to close my eyes because I felt yeah. sorry for the pigs. Oh. <laughs> Look, they're showing this fucking this this uh, snipping the dicks. Yeah, they're just snipping oh. the dick off. I love Peter. I'm gonna Aww. fucking so I'm gonna fucking join this organization because they fucking throw paint on people. Yeah. Good. Fuck. Yeah, look. Yeah, they don't kill Peter animals. They, they, the just, animals. they just kill the people that kill. The yeah, animals. they should. These <clears throat> fucking people should be fucking killed. Look at them all with their bloody hineys. <laughs> 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 Stupid <laughs> lambs. <laughs> They're all auditioning for the part of Robert Reed's wig in the final season. <laughs> <laughs> and they still won't run. They don't like try uh, to get together and figure no, something out. They just they're stand dumb. There. They have no experience. Their cock and balls are being cut off. <laughs> all they do is go <laughs> right. itch a little. They're like, ah. Oh, look at this back. fucking. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Wow, bloody that room looks like oh, fucking. I can't uh, watch that. But, all right, Patty, let's turn off the video. Now, These Patty, fucking people need to be killed. Oh, These people to, need to be fucking killed. I almost killed. cried when I saw that Peter one. Almost. I was in tears. Look at these fucking sacks of shit. They should be fucking killed. Yeah, now we're getting upset. Let's, uh... This is some kind of savage nation. Though. Doesn't matter. It's the fact we support it. Look at them cutting this fucking thing's arms off while it's alive. Yeah. That's the disgusting. more fucking Peter 
fucking throws paint on people the happier Compassionate alternatives? Mm-hmm. What is that? I don't know. I can't imagine PETA has a compassion at all. Oh, they're, they're showing like people walking their dogs. Yeah, the compassion of a rock. How about compassionate? That, one, that was pretty good. Comedy. Yeah, good, good really improv. Good. They should just show animals attacking people. <laughs> <laughs> like that fucking horse fucking the guy he hasn't seen. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I wish the animals uh, would attack those people up there. The guy, yeah. the, right. you know what it was? That Howdy. was a human cruelty video because the horse just wanted like a, a, a fucking a colon hat. So he had to go into the man's hiney and get it. A colon hat? <laughs> and that was actually from an Against Humans <laughs> video. But, Patty, it sounds like that you don't have... You know, uh, bad medical stuff happening. If you just need a few vitamins, that's easy. Yeah, Patty. Well, I'm starting my vitamin therapy on Monday, that's and I'm uh, three months into my actinol, and I'm who, like two months into the vitamin uh, D. Who so. turned you on to the vitamin therapy? Um, well, my doctor was suggesting because I tested low in certain Did things. I tested low in B12, low in well, D IQ? was really low. Of course, the D is really low. <laughs> It's supposed to be 30 or 40, and I was only at 14. You oh, had yeah. 14 Ds? Nice. Yeah, 14, what? like uh, the met, the number on the medical chart. Yeah. Which 14 I what, though? I don't know what it is. D, D, was something like in the bloodstream? Don't you get D from just walking around outside? <laughs> well, I don't go out very much other than just to go to work and just, you know, I, I, it's right. too cold to go out. How do your life really? just... Uh, so odd. Odd. Yeah. A little odd, Patty. You like spice sure. it up, Patty. Come on. What floor do you live on? I live on the second. Uh, sure. Move higher. Yeah. <laughs> Move up higher. Yeah. Do your windows open? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The urge hits you. And what's going on with your spine? Put a trampoline right by it. Yeah. Well, there's a slight... A boinga boinga. <laughs> there's a slight curvature, so in therapy, Can I have see to do back curve? exercises. Yes. Which way does it curve? Like, yeah, let's see I the don't curve. Know. Is it in, out, or to the side? No. Well, I can't here. see we shit. Can't see we can't Patty. see we can't anything. See Lift your shirt Patty. up. Hey, back. Hey, pants, we can't see. Move oh. that big comma. Oh, that's your back. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that thing is kind of going over to the right. Yeah, it kicks over, over to the right when it starts hitting the top of your ass. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got to do You need to cock exercise. to straighten that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need a cock in your ass. That'll straighten your spine right out. <laughs> and not a white one. <laughs> no. That wouldn't be longer. Hard enough. No. It's like a rod emplaced in there. And yeah, cock with melanin to put that mm. spine back where it belongs. That'd be a good tactic for you to take, uh, <laughs> for getting your spine straightened out. Well, yeah. well, You're a tactile tail. Well, in therapy, they have me do <laughs> leg tactics. kicks. I do, like, uh, like, lift, like, lay down, and I have to go, like, do, like, almost like the bicycle, like, laying down. I have to ride a Good bike. Good description. I, yeah. I, I have no idea what she's therapy. talking about. No. <laughs> they give me the paraffin treatment for my hand hands. Therapy. I have to You should to jerk take... off a lot of guys. They'll take care of your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Double fucking yeah. dong it. Yeah. Wait, paraffin? They have to dip your hands in wax? Yeah, yeah. It really helps soothe the pain. No, it doesn't. You know, plus I'm in the bathtub and I have to get Ew, like, like hot as I can stand. Are you stand naked? Hot yes. showers. Are you naked? Do you kiss Jack Nicholson? Of course. <laughs> Everybody's naked in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I know, Fatty. You're right. I thought you were at therapy in the bathtub. No. <laughs> oh. Uh, no. I have to squeeze clay. I have to do Who's tricks clay? with rubber bands. <laughs> at home. Naked or cashless? <laughs> you know, where I put the rubber bands around my hands and or, I gotta stretch them Pay. like 30 times a hand. <laughs> clay virgin. Clay virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, what have we here? A virgin with a spider body. <laughs> She's squeezing me. <laughs> you're a very handsome man, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're Patty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patty. We'll oh, you, know, you have the fuckability of David Ferry's wig. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I got, uh, I got curvature in the spine. I've had it for years. For years. Uh, <laughs> oh, Patty. Poor Patty. I'm all right. I mean, I even no, have not. to my feet, but I do my exercises faithfully. Your I go to therapy lame. every Tuesday she night. She with rubber bands, clay, and wax. What do you do with your feet? What's wrong with your feet? Well, they also hurt, too, so I have to step on, like, a rolly thing, you know, like a thing that rolls. I get up on top, and I just go, like, this uh, with uh, the what, feet. The rolly thing? And you feel yeah, like it's like a cylinder you? you stand on, and then you just go back and forth with your feet on the cylinder. I can think of a cylinder. I think you should balance between your feet. <laughs> and the then I have to walk <laughs> from mouth. heel to toe. You know, when I walk, I instead of dragging my feet you, a little bit, like I got to walk heel to toe. You sound like you're doing, like, uh, playtime in kindergarten. 
<laughs> like you, they bring out the little toys and you fucking play. How, what is this doing for your arthritis? Yeah, you're exhausting. You're, there's too much going on, too many exercises. Well, I have to do it. I don't want to be in a walker in 10 years. 10. Jeez, 10. How about two? No. You're, you're walking by 4.30. No. And I take very good care of my body. No, you don't. I, I don't smoke. I don't take drugs. I don't eat junk Maybe food. Maybe you should. You know, I don't do any of those things. I eat vegetables, And look at you. You're yogurt. a mess. You're falling apart. Yeah. No, they said it's hereditary. <laughs> Your hair it's, has the bounce and luster But I don't know anything iron. about my parents or their health history, so now no. I want to go to the closed records of the New York Foundling and see if they'll release those things to me. <laughs> the Foundlings. This is better than scary. The they, New York they have the information I don't know. Yeah. Why don't you dig up your parents and take a look at their bodies? Your fucking, what was your mother, a graham cracker? <laughs> <laughs> I also want to see if there's Nasty. a history of heart problems, because my... I have my Treval prolapse and my heart's a little enlarged and I'm on Holy medication shit. for it. She is I gotta a see if they have mess. a history of that. I don't know what hypopsa day means, but that's what it said on my father's certificate. A hypopsa day? <laughs> I don't know what it means. I have no idea what the word means. Yeah. So Why I gotta look find it up it. on the internet. Yeah. I gotta wait till tomorrow to do that. Why? Why? Well, because I well, uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I don't want to talk about no, it. Come, come, come on, go, go, go. go. I don't discuss yeah. any issues Patty, that I have. Patty, really. Patty, come Patty talk <laughs> about it. Come on, come on. Come on. Why do you have to wait till tomorrow? Well, every once in a while, I might be late with my internet bill. They turn me off, and then within a week, I'm back on again when I have bill? money to pay it. How much is your bill? Well, now I got to get them 127, so but, I'll do but, that tomorrow because I got I took my personal day. I added that oh with God. the seven hours vacation Jesus I'm Christ. entitled to those hours in addition to my regular hours. Seven so hours now I'll have vacation. a paycheck <laughs> that's big enough that Did I can just be say, able to yeah, afford seven hours of vacation. Are you taking a trip to Newark? <laughs> <laughs> no, for every hour I work, you get a certain amount of minutes in what, vacation. A second, so, and then you can accumulate, and then you. Use the hours seven if hour you need vacation. them. Seven hours, Jesus. though, of vacation? How long have you worked there? Wow. Jesus. Two years. It'll be three you, years in, you, in uh, March. You think a cruise is a Staten Island ferry? <laughs> <laughs> Back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, um, so I'll pay it tomorrow, and then I'll open the phone. Pay, don't Patty, you have to pay a fee? Don't you have to pay a fee? No, no, no. They only back. want 127 don't, I owe about 200 I but thought only if they 127 shut, shut Oh, God. I thought if they shut it off and have to turn it back on, you got to pay like a fee. No, you don't. No, because right, I've done it before. Patty's a soldier, man. You know, she works her balls oh. off, and they give her a seven-hour vacation. Seven hours vacation. More well, than she deserves. Well, you only accumulate 15 minutes or something for every so many hours that you work, and then you you can accumulate. You're working a lot of hours, aren't you? You usually get, like, a, even a, a week a year. Like one week every year for no, vacation. No, it doesn't work that way. You get seven hours it's vacation. You know, some people <laughs> you have go? accumulated 30 Jesus. or 40 hours Quinta by not Kinte using any of the hours. In the, you know. <laughs> terrible. You know. Jesus Christ, seven hours. Barrett, you know. uh, Barrett from Pittsburgh, does a seven-hour vacation go along with a 24-hour cold? <laughs> <laughs> I still have 17 hours to be sick after the fun of the sun. <laughs> uh, wow. Damn. They fucking suck. Seven wow, hours yeah. of Starbucks vacation? Well, yeah, but it could, it'll go up again now because uh, when I work, wow. for every hour you get a few minutes, you know, added on and then it accumulates yeah. over a period of time. If you go over, they hobble you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, what I'm going to do is have a like pal talk fest yeah. all day all tomorrow and then a TV fest all evening tomorrow. What? So. What is this? Yeah, well, that way I get my internet turned on, my TV turned on, and I'm going to go to town. Because <laughs> I miss it. After a week, you go crazy watching what? just videos on your computer. What kind of programs are you missing? Oh, uh, I always look forward to intervention. I also like the dead hour or whatever after that where they you go into houses and exercise spirits. I like watching that show. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, whatever. They, at 3 o'clock is the dead hour from 3 to 7 when yeah. they... Uh, you watch three hours of that crap? 
Oh, sure, I could. I, and I love vacation. intervention. <laughs> I like the Lifetime movie channel. I like the Turner Classic movie channel. I like Holy the shit. Disney channel. Does she watch a bunch of shit? It's horrendous. Oh, yeah, imagine, but I look forward to it. Imagine sitting watching it. TV with Patty. Oh, she's the worst. Oh. <laughs> The show sound you know. awful. I'm packing for my vacation. I'm taking a flight to Nassau. And I'm Island. into all these jail <laughs> programs, women in prison, oh, yeah, like ah, lock up. Prison I'm into bitches. all of that. You like that? I love watching those shows. You watch First 48? <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. those shows. Are you a fan of the black men? You know, I just like oh, the shows. Oh, I like oh, watching boy. the people in telling. prison and the yeah. women, Patty, especially. Are you racist? Are you racist? No, I'm not. We were talking about tipping. Who tips uh, the best when they're getting their coffee? Do black people tip you? Do they ever throw anything in the tip cup there? Everybody tips the same, and we have regulars in all nationalities, and uh, I mean, we do better the in same. our no, store don't. than in other stores. <laughs> everyone doesn't tip the same? Well... Well, no. They if they get eighty cents change, they throw it in. If they get the pennies, everyone does they throw that. No one in. ever pockets That's their money. Everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I keep tabs on everything, you know, because uh, you know, I keep tabs on everything because I do the tips every week. It almost so got I me when she said it. On. She goes, you know, because I got seven hours vacation <laughs> time and I use that. It's like seven hours. What kind of fucking Actually, that's my grocery money. Slave driver is over there. <laughs> yeah. That's not, my food money, my grocery money. Day off. She considers it a vacation. Vacation. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I accumulated, oh, so I used five of them oh, for tomorrow's you, paycheck. You used five hours of vacation? Yeah, <laughs> and it's at your regular rate, so, so you know. So she has two hours of vacation you left. you got two hours you left. Barely yeah, well, no, no, out. because well, that's going to go up. Because the more you work, the more you accumulate. <laughs> Accumulate them. I want to take 11 minutes in June. <laughs> no, the more you work, the more you accumulate. That's going to go up. We get it. Right. Say it again, please. 20 Jesus. fucking times. The more you work, Patty, the more you accumulate. You could easily be our longest listener, and you don't get this fucking show. I don't know what you're hearing when you listen to this show. Well, how do they actually, how do they actually you don't determine? Understand jokes, sarcasm, <laughs> timing. You don't understand shit. Yeah, I'd love to know. How, how do they, they determine what kind of vacation you get? Yeah. It's just every hour you work, it gets so many minutes. Yeah, but how many minutes? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I thought it was like 15 minutes or something. Per what? Way. Per what? Hour? I guess. I don't no. know. If you got 15 minutes vacation time every hour. That would rock. Then you'd fucking get... Uh, yeah, but the average shift hours, you is get 10 only hours, 5 hours 10 long. hours a week. Well, she only works 10-minute days. <laughs> no, no, no. The average yeah, shift is like five everything. hours long. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's 15 <laughs> minutes for every so many hours. Oh, I'm not sure. seconds every hour. I, I to, never did find I that. I have to build up some vacation time. I need to go and buy a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've accumulated oh. nine minutes. I'm going to use six of those minutes. And I'll have three for the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm taking five minutes between Christmas and New Year. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst vacation I've ever heard. Oh, just step out of the store, take a breath, back in. That was one vacation. <laughs> Patty, you look refreshed and tan. <laughs> Your vacation stinks, Patty. Oh, my God. It's the worst vacation I've ever heard. Holy shit. Oh, my God. A bunch of slave drivers over there. That's terrible. Tim from Columbus, right? <laughs> Seven-hour vacation. I've sat on the shitter longer than her entire vacation allowance. <laughs> God damn, Patty. That is fucking terrible. And Patty, yeah, you are, you're racist, by the way, I can tell. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not. I understand. Do you have any benefits, health benefits? Well, yeah, I pay almost $100 a month for my share Wait, for, from Starbucks. The company doesn't supply you with benefits? Well, yeah, they uh, cover some of it, but my I'm 21-something a week. You know, what? it could be like three hundred, four hundred dollars a month. So I think the health care benefits are comparatively good to other companies. Patty, I wouldn't Godiva blame. Godiva didn't give oh, me anything. Oh my God. Not? Patty, I wouldn't blame you if you start shitting in the coffee. How they treat you? <laughs> no, I think I'm treated Patty's very well roast. where I am. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'll never leave where I am. I'm treated well there. Batman from Marblehead. Uh, as Patty. Hello, Starbucks. I need to take three minutes vacation to cook an egg. <laughs> oh, 
No. It's oh, the is... dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> Take a vacation. Oh, I'm grateful because I didn't, I've never really had health benefits from anyone else. So right. to me, right. you know. It. And it's $100 a month? Yeah, for you? the most expensive plan you know only because of right, my medical all right, all right, needs. All right, Patty, listen. Cunning from Pal Talk. The lines are too good. we got to get some of these on the air. Uh, Patty also gets up to 25 minutes in sick time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Steve needs. Right. Well, then Steve asked for base Patty's vacation would be just long enough for Steve C to recover from a cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she gets uh, seven hours vacation. I did not hear that today. Fuck, oh, Patty. Jesus. Your world is tiring. <laughs> it's tiring. amazing that uh, they they treat you like now, that. The other thing you guys didn't pick up on that. You didn't really pick up that we could explore it a little bit. Her exercise regime is ridiculous, and it, it's all-encompassing. Yeah. I don't know how she has time to do anything else. Run through all the exercises you have to do again. Well, I got to lay on my side and do leg lifts and then turn to the other side and do leg lifts again. And then I got to lay on my back and then go like this like about 30 times and stretch my back. Then I got to go do wall exercises and... Go down like She's this, and come, started, you know. Listen. Then I gotta ride a bike for ten minutes, yeah. <laughs> you know. And then I gotta do the clay for ten minutes, yeah. And then I get the paraffin. Uh, and what's and what do you do with that? The, that's it. The hour's up, and then I leave. She puts her hands. Oh, no, what about the rubber bands? Well, I do that at home as an exercise. I put a rubber band around my fingers, and I force myself to do hand the stretches with the rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have a nurse yes. ball well, that I squeeze I too to get more mobility in my hands, so the arthritis doesn't. Misshapen. <laughs> no clue when other people. What do you mean? So the arthritis doesn't misshapen well, you? Well, yeah, fingers can bend and everything. It can go like up. that. So I just, yeah. can, you know, that looks good. Practice, even if it hurts, I still have to do it. Sure, no pain, no gain, they, right? You know, I don't take any Advil okay. or anything because yeah. it only masks hey, Patty, the symptoms. What if you had to take maternity leave from Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> what would they do that? <laughs> she had to have a procedure. That's kid. fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's that's a lot Sunday of people do. A manager <laughs> took one and came back after the baby was born. They she only, was fine. They she only just allow the gestation to, period just, of a rat. <laughs> you know, she's running another store. You know. Well, there's no event. Once you're ready to come Patty, back, you're back. Patty, I never wanted the answer. And after many years listening to this show, you should have understood that it was just oh, a setup to I'm have sorry. a little fun. Yes, of course, Patty. My God. I really understand How long that. Your rat line is brilliant. Uh, like I think like two weeks. <laughs> uh, less than a month, maybe? Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Jesus Christ. They could pump them out, those rats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, Patty, that's some fucking life you're leading over there. Very fast paced. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on yeah. in your life. Six stand, squat, work, vacation, <laughs> yeah. everything in one day. Do you take vacation hour to do your exercises? No, I just take them if I need the extra money yeah, well, to pay right. extra bills. Anyway, what do you, know? you do now? Now I understand you, you're working out. You're trying to keep from fucking having your bones snap on you. You you got a fucking spine like a T-square. Yeah. What do you do for fun? Yeah. What do you do now? You talk about work. You talk about that. What do you do? Those TV shows, eh? Come to on. have a little fun. Well, uh, somebody gave me a gift card for Christmas, so I have one more movie to go see. So I'm gonna see Private Life of Benjamin Button, and then I like the to go Private to the Life library. I get DVDs. Huh. I bring them home. That must be. And I watch them you... on my computer. The Private I Life. I read. <laughs> the Private Life of Benjamin Button. That's, yeah, I want to see that about the man that's born old and then cool. gets younger and uh, has an, like a uh, love interest in a girl. What do you think of the new Sean Penn movie, Yogurt? <laughs> 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 No, the last movie I saw was Seven Pounds, and that was good. That made me cry at the end. Seven pounds? Because this guy sacrificed his life. He... Well, he gave his organs to seven, seven people. <laughs> but if, he, if yeah, that's what, a good movie guy. to go she, she see. see. It's a movie about Steve. Seven hours. <laughs> uh, and I also want to see The Unborn. Uh, someone's <laughs> ready to go. Me too. I spent yeah. my life trying to get my face in where they just <laughs> boom. I fell apart. On someone, that someone did yeah. some quick math and said if she stays with Starbucks, she'll accumulate about four days of vacation over her career. <laughs> four days. Um, I think I'm grateful for what I get. After two years, she's really? got seven hours. Of That's more than I ever got from Godiva. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you work full time there, Patty? Because I'm looking at their benefit schedule, and it looks like you should be getting a little more than seven hours of vacation. Well, no, they cut our hours, oh. so, so um, you're not, you're not I was that scheduled quarterly. for 15. But a lot of times I'll get up mm. to 20 because I take people's shifts if they don't want them, or I try to be yeah, on pro- call. The I reason that sleep she's... with the phone by my bed in case I'm called. I go in. <laughs> she's a perfect, all right. She really is a perfect employee. She's like though. a fucking uh, a Starbucks cop. She's always on duty. Yeah. According according to their their employee benefits package if you're if you don't work more than 240 hours per quarter you're not eligible for their benefits well that's why i uh make sure i take the extra shifts so they don't catch me in that because i can't afford to lose my benefits so i am doing that making myself available in the other stores around me five stores have my phone number patty do you understand i covered a ship on saturday night tell us about that Oh God! <laughs> you know, I make know. myself available. What happened with that shift on Saturday? Let's get, give us the skinny here. How no, was it? I just work from eleven fifteen to three a.m. But those are bad hours. But I took them because I needed the three and a half hours. What do you do all those hours? You wait yeah. on people. Those people do in. come in at that time. Well, they are a busy store. Which store? On Union Square. What? what? No, no, in Times Square, one of the twenty-four hour ones. I didn't know there was more than one. What? Yeah, there's like seven or eight stores in Times Square, and oh, uh, wow, m- five God. of them have my phone number. Do they call oh, you, you fucking yeah. whore! <laughs> they don't call you? Sure, I, that's why I was there the other night. Yeah. You know, Patty, you realize that they're they're purposely not they're not letting you reach your 240 hour quota so that they could save <laughs> yeah, money. Yeah, right? they're not gonna do that to me. <laughs> Well, they, they are. Have been. Well, if you I'm only have seven sure hours of, of vacation. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I will, because the owner said that they wanted to take care of his employees on a national TV show about four years ago. So he ain't going to go back on that promise. Oh, really? You, That's you know, right. the economy was a little different four years ago, especially for Starbucks. I don't care. I have health issues. <laughs> <laughs> I need my money. Hold on. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I yeah. don't care. <laughs> I will her? just I make know. myself available. Do Even if I wanted to do something, like take the day off or something, I will still work if it means that. You know, but I have don't to. Don't you understand what the CEO or whoever says four years ago doesn't even matter today? In this economy with Starbucks, because Starbucks has been dropping their their the people, not as many people come in because they can't afford. Uh, they they then make changes. Right. So what the guy does is not give you as many hours. They cut back on employees. They they do things based on the economy. They don't give a flying fuck about you or your benefits or your health problems or anything else. Holla. Well. I don't know. Um, I'm just now gonna watch my back. That's like, the wall. Do you yeah, understand? Like, watch if, in like fun house yeah. mirror. If, if you're you a ma- see, it's just standing straight in a couple of weeks. <laughs> it's wrapping around you. If you're a manager for Starbucks, <laughs> anaconda back. <laughs> they they're gonna want to try to save money, and if they have to pay you for vacation, to, if they have to pay you for time that you're not working, then that's something that they're gonna look to eliminate because yeah. they're trying to they're trying to cut costs by by every well, stretch of the imagination, it was on and that's C- one of them. It was on CNN last week when I was How watching. Television. I saw that they're not matching the 401ks anymore, but I'm still going to request 2% out of my salary, even though I'll miss the money because I'm 54 this year. I'm not getting any younger. And what am I going to do for right, when I can't all right, all right, work? All right, 2% of your paycheck. How much the is private it? life? Uh, not much. <laughs> How much? If I make like. Patty Buttons. <laughs> well, you want to cry? Listen to this. 2% of your salary for a 401, right? How much is that? Well, okay, that's gross. If I gross maybe uh, 200 then uh, $40 will be taken out of my check. No, that's not true. 2%. Oh, no, that's 20%. I mean, well, $8 will be taken out. Oh, wait a minute. 2%. Uh, 10% oh, is what, are you uh, want to 20 when you're 1300 $4 will be taken out of my check towards it. That's what it will be. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, $4 like, will be taken $4. out of my check for every $4 hours. comes out of your check. That she desperately needs yeah. that she's going to put But they won't be matched. That would be the only problem. So it won't be matched. No, it won't they be. So can't even match four dollars. They won't write a check that small. <laughs> so why, why don't you just take <laughs> the four bucks call yourself call and put it in the bank? Yeah. Because I'll be tempted to use it if I need transportation, if I need to buy food, if I want to get a new pair of pants for myself that I had to buy sneakers for work. You know. So you're taking four dollars. I don't want to be tempted, so I'd rather just let it go you're away. You're fifty-four. <laughs> 
You take four dollars every week. <laughs> How well, depending on how many hours I work a week. If I work 15 hours, it's less. It's a dollar uh, and a half. So, so a buck and a half. <laughs> but, but, so $4 a week is the max that you'll put into your retirement account. Yeah, if I you know, work that many hours. And you're 54 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I hope Bernie Madoff lost but all her fortune. But people my age are working longer, too. There's people still working, working in their longer. 70s. They're not working for, like Jimmy said, 1,500 years. <laughs> Holy shit. How much, you, how much did, have you got in the 401? You have the worst financial plan it's horrendous. ever. Well, I didn't start well, it yet. She hasn't even started it yet. Oh my no, God. I'm gonna. I'm trying to get it's in so contact sad. with the uh, people now. Who? You know, the phone Who? number Who that I have take to your call. call for, for, oh, yeah. You, you know, just request, advisor. even if it's only 2%, you know, mm. uh, or something. Do you have anything in 401k right now? No. Um, no, she doesn't. She it's hasn't not open. Yet. But she's going to start putting $4 a week. In, you're starting a yeah. retirement plan well, at 54 like by putting $4 dollars in for 15 years. Well, you know yeah, what it is? She wants, to, she wants to enjoy her golden half hour. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to retire you know, before the sun collapses. <laughs> I know one thing. I don't know if we're going to have Social Security when we're, I'm old enough to collect well, At least you'll it. be prepared. What? To collect your $7.20? <laughs> yeah, what? Fucking one check and they're done with you. Yes. You know, and it's only the last seven years of your work life. That's why my Social Security has oh. been going down every year when I get it in March. You know? What do you usually get in Social Security in March? Well, uh, it said if you stopped working now, this was like five years oh ago, gosh. you'd you collect nine hundred dollars. <laughs> and then last year, what, I read year? it. If you stop working now, you will collect uh, six hundred and forty. And I'm like, what happened to that? You know, because the last seven years, you know, they'll give you six hundred forty a month. Well, yeah, if you stop working now, mm -hmm. but you know, that's hypothetical. Is that a month or a year? A month. It's hypothetical, really. Isn't that more than it's you're making change now? every year. So why don't you stop working? No, I can't afford to. Well, but, someone is, uh, you know, speaking the truth out there. Boomer from Jersey. Wait, Patty is the smart one here. How much has has she lost this year in their four? Uh, well, he wrote. A, how much has she lost in her four hundred one k? I bet oh, it was a right. lot less than the rest of us. Because <laughs> I had nothing in it to begin yeah, with. Yeah, that's that, Patty. Exactly. <laughs> Four dollars. That is fantastic. Planet Wyoming has a great idea. You should sell your virginity. Oh no! There's a hot piece of ass doing that in Nevada. Uh, but still, I think for the goo factor, we could probably get ten, twenty G's for your virginity. Yeah. I can't do that. Why not? It's Why kind not? Of, I don't know. Ten grand would be pretty nice, right? Know. Yeah. How about give up cash? your asshole for uh, ten how grand? About, how about no one's looking cash, my friend? You know, there's a hundred and seven year old shit. woman out there looking for that right now. <laughs> and she probably has a better chance than me. <laughs> well, she does, Patty, because she gave up her snatch years ago. You, it's, it's Patty, incredible. Patty, life is passing you by. You haven't learned shit from us. It's the same story. This could have been like the first week we were at NEW. Why don't you have, you're 54 years old. Why don't you have or have ever had a 40-hour-a-week job with benefits and and? You know, you go and you work 40 hours. Why, why do you? Yeah, we make fun of you, but. Well, I'm not well, hold qualified on, hold on. for office work. Yeah, but, I can't do it because I don't you have a degree? the computers you, and Anthony. stuff. We've made fun of you, but you have a degree, and you do come across uh, being pretty intelligent. What? It's how you u use your intelligence that's a bit strange, to say the yes. least. <laughs> well... In the past, I have applied to office positions, <laughs> but I cannot type. Right. Uh, 75 words a minute. Right. You know, and I don't know a lot. I can't even cut and paste on the computer. You know, I don't you know how to do basic it. You things can do like it. that. You yeah. cut and you paste. Oh, you right click. And I love that we have mathematicians that listen to the show. We got yes. Jason in Indiana. Yes, Jason. Good evening. Hey. Um... Well, in order for Patty to get $100,000 saved in her 401k at four bucks a week, <laughs> it would take her 409 years <laughs> to save that. So, Patty, you're going to work at Starbucks for 409 more years? 
So you can retire? <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, just that, you know. Jesus. Well, the answer would be no. No one lives to <laughs> yeah. that ripe old age. I know I'm one mummy. thing. Right. James, uh, you don't know. Jameson from Jersey, what's up? She's trying to save up for that nice little nest nest tumor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Jameson, or whatever, Jameson. Hey, hey boys. Hey. Yo, Patty's, Patty, Patty's company treats her worse than those stupid cows in the PETA video. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. They treat her worse than the cows, yeah. Patty. Let's go to Vinny oh, in New York. Vinny? Patty. What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, uh, Patty, Patty can't sell her virginity. She ain't a virgin no more. She's been getting fucked by Starbucks for three years. <laughs> Yeah, they uh, they got a good employee there, and they know that that they can take advantage a little bit. They are uh, taking advantage of you, Patty. Let's go to Richie in the Bronx, Richie. Yeah, what's up, boys? Hey, uh, Patty, does your pace double like? Uh, does it come with rollover minutes? <laughs> <laughs> like a little cell phone bill. Yeah. Wow, Patty, you got a cell phone, Patty? Yes, I do. How do you afford that? Um, I well, you know, I. Make that one of my priorities because I need the communication. And I don't have a home phone, and there's no reason to have one because I have the cell phone. Well, I pay smart. 4403 for my basic plan, and then I add about 15 to $30 on it if I need more minutes. Do you want a home phone? Not really. I have a cell phone. It's more reliable than a home Who phone do you call? anyway. What do you call on your cell phone? Oh, I... I don't know. I check my bank balances on it, and you know, and she's doing I, her uh, banking. The call world of high friends, finance, you know, and friends call she's me. Sister. It's good for work. If they need you me to cover a couple hours, I'm there. In your account. <laughs> you know. You check your bank balance on your phone? Why? Yeah, and my friends call me. I call them. Well, she enters her like her account number, and then the voice goes. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not worth our time. <laughs> yeah, really. The the call you're making is more than the money you got in the bank. Yeah. You've got money in the bank? You put money in there? Yeah, but I use it quickly. I had to write a $50 check to the New York Public Library because they said I lost the book and weren't going to let me take out the DVDs, so I was forced to write it. So that's what, $50 what, going what, tomorrow. What book did you steal? I didn't steal any book. They say I have one out, and I don't. Why didn't you fight it and tell them, go fuck yourself? I don't have the book. Yeah. Well, and then have at them the look moment... For it. I had to do it because I wanted the DVDs, and uh, DVDs? so I just Mandingo. did it. <laughs> the movies that I watch, you know. You get them from the library? Yeah, so it's because it's free. And then sometimes if I have about oh, five man, bucks, Patty, I go to Blockbuster. Patty. I have a card. All right, Patty, I'm trying to... I'm trying to Patty, like... Netflix is $10. You could have had five months of Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, I'm trying to direct you in some you know, directions here. Like, what movies do you get from the library? Well, let me see... The last I like all the Queen ones about the Queen King of England. I watched Elizabeth and Bertie, which was good. I watched the Queen about when Princess Di died. You know, I watched that. Morbid. And I also have the complete season of you know on DVD of I Love Lucy. So I was watching all of those. I got ones from Alfred Hitchcock. I saw To Kill a Mockingbird. You know, things like that. I enjoy those movies. All right. And what was the book <laughs> they said you had? I don't know. I don't even remember the name of it, but I what, told what them the I don't subject? have it. Joyous. You subject? know what I do? I have a <laughs> tendency to throw things in the book drop, and I think they miss things in there. So I you take... should have told them to go fuck the 50 bucks. What book is $50? Right. Well, I had to buy it, they said. Yeah, well, what book is fucking 50 bucks that you were? I don't know. They said you I had. have no Probably idea. You wrote something. a check for $50, and you have no idea what book it was. No, I don't. But you just wrote a check. Yeah, I know. That's a lot of money for you. I know. Eight. It was probably a stupid thing to do, but I wouldn't have been allowed to take out the DVDs. And, but the DVDs uh, would have cost you oh 50 bucks God. if you bought yeah. them on your own. You know, I'm oh sure there's God. a higher authority there I could go to. Yeah. You know, whoever runs the libraries. Brooks. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Brooks. You know? Easy peasy Japanese. <laughs> English from Escape from Alcatraz. <laughs> 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 He's paying for some National Geographic and condensed books. <laughs> you know, you know what my oh. biggest suspicion is. I, I wish probably would end wrote a check. <laughs> my biggest. Patty was here. 
Oh, Patty Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> I probably wrote a check a while ago that probably bounced, and maybe that's the truth, but they didn't see it in the computer. They just said you owe $50. You so. write a lot of checks that bounce? Occasionally they do. Her account do. comes with an NBA logo you know, on it. You know, because I think the money's going to be there, and then two items come at once. They pay the bigger one before the smaller one, so all the money gets taken for that. I've had that experience Have you before. noticed the world's gotten itself in a big damn hurry? <laughs> you know, but to me that's not unusual. And it's only occasionally. It's occasionally. not that often. The phones are lit. Yeah. Are when you, I have like $2 uh, left on. in the bank, oh, I'm oh. happy. When you have what? When I have like, on a Thursday before I get paid, when I have like a couple dollars in the bank, like 2 or $3, dollars, I'm happy. I'm $2 positive. in the I'm bank. I'm over. Yeah. What do you have, a little passbook, and they stamp it? <laughs> no, ATM card, you know. Oh, okay. They don't even check it. this. She'll walk you around, they're like, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, okay. you say but you I'm have, happy you when I have that, because I'm not overdrawn, you know, and that's more than Patty. when I'm overdrawn. Are you working tomorrow? Me? Tomorrow? No. Like I said, uh, I... Tomorrow, tomorrow well, you come in, and one of, my, one of our guys remind me, it, tomorrow's change day. What's that mean? I'm bringing my change in. I'm gonna throw it at you, and you, you, <laughs> there's got to be a hundred dollars easy. And whoever comes by the show tomorrow, bring your change for Patty. Change day with Patty tomorrow. <laughs> this is killing me. Patty, do you understand something? That you're in a very precarious position. Right. Uh, you're 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 not a young woman. You are in a position where if something catastrophic happens, you're uh you're fucked. Well, if I ever had to go to the hospital, they it's required by law that I'm taken <laughs> care of, yeah. you know. Yeah, until they need the bed. Right. They'll ship your ass right there. They'll patch you up and but, ship your oh, ass right get, the fuck out. They'll yeah. get to you right away. <laughs> yeah. So why do you, that's why I don't do errors of living. I watch what She'd I eat. She'd better care at the 4077th. <laughs> you know? <laughs> One thing that goes for me is I don't smoke. That's the biggest thing for a health company because it costs more right. for them to yep. take care of a smoker. Yep. I'm not. I don't smoke. You so do that's smoke. Awesome. You're lying. Yeah. <laughs> right. What? <laughs> Wow, you're a mess. No, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Your priorities are all fucked up. Over a hundred dollars for internet and cable, and, yeah, and, and pal talk and whatever else. Yeah, you can't. Well, afford pal to talk, do I got on sale. I got it for like a very like half price well, practically well, because I waited thrifty. until that period to renew. <laughs> Because I watch for the sales, and I also shop with coupons. That's all too. she's ever done is waited for her period to renew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patty, do you have like an ATM card? And, and if and if you do, how the fuck do they give you the money you want? I've never seen it's an ATM a, it's machine debit. that gives out change. Yeah, they, it's not a credit; it's debit. Yeah, yeah but if the like, money isn't there; it doesn't go through. When you go to an ATM, you need like twenty bucks in there to get like twenty bucks something out, right? Well, no, you know what? Life savings. You know what yeah. I do? If I have to go shopping, I just use the card to go shopping, yeah. and that's uh, it. Uh, you know. Right. I try not to carry cash if I can help it. Well, yeah, that would be a bundle on you. Mm. Well, Patty, I would love to spend more time with you, but my multi-million uh, dollar home is waiting for me. So, uh... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That makes yeah. Me, it makes me angry about people like Madoff, who's allowed to stay in his plush digs when he should be giving it all up for the people whose lives he's ruined. Wow. I think I have it bad. Those people have it worse. Patty, Patty, when you talk, it gives me a rod. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, I don't. Patty, we're gonna. I'm bringing my change in tomorrow, and I suggest everyone else wants in on the change. Fuck her. Bring their change in tomorrow if you're coming to buy to see the show. You want to make 20 bucks right now? Oh, shit. For what? If you just come by and squeeze my penis through my pants, I'll give you 20 bucks. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> what? Through my pants. $20. What? 20 bucks. $20. Are that's you like. Are kidding? Nope. You don't. <laughs> it's like a month's work, I'm Patty. Bad. Come on, real quick. That's five fucking retirement payments. <laughs> just come here. Just come here. Yes. Patty, just come here. Come squeeze it. <laughs> five weeks of retirement payments. Hurry up before it goes down when I realize what I'm doing. Oh Hurry up. Hurry up. If it goes down, the money goes down, yep. Patty. Come on. come on, Patty. Give it a squeeze. Come on. Come on, boy. And don't just touch it and let Give go. It oh Give it a God. good squeeze. Come on. Squeeze a little shake. Oh, my God. I'm too scared. Squeeze it. Give it a shit, a squeeze. Squeeze it. Come on, you're right there. Do it. Jesus, 
Why are you tenting? <laughs> Get your stupid hand on. Are you sure, Jimmy? Jimmy? Just do it. I've never done that. Oh, God. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> she hurt you. I guess Stupid. I must have did something. <laughs> she just squeezed yeah. it like, a, like one of those stress balls. Yeah. Like she oh, my God. I'm ready to pass paper. out. She grabbed the fucking head the way Stallone oh, tried to hold on to that girl oh at the beginning God. of Cliffhanger. I feel like I'm ready to pass out. I just want yeah, like you that. Both. How about you grab it, but like, yeah, like yeah. softly? N n believe me, it's not hard anymore. <laughs> not, not, not hard. I almost passed out. Grab it like this. Jimmy's getting flesh. lightheaded too. <laughs> I almost did. Grab I feel softly. lightheaded. Just grab it softly. <laughs> not, not what you learn in self-defense class. <laughs> Jesus, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so get. Shaky. All right, hold. That's better. <laughs> mm. There you go. There you go. Wow. You're well a prostitute. Well to the Patty's a you're prostitute. A, you're a whore now. <laughs> oh, my God. Do Wait, I you... look lightheaded? Because I start... No, you look dumbheaded. I look <laughs> <Empty -headed. laughs> You look light in the wallet. <laughs> she grabbed my fucking helmet, like, between her palm and fingers. I don't fingers even know what I... Squeezed. Yeah, it was yeah. just fucking terrible. Why don't you terrible. sit down, Patty? There I you go. I think I should. I feel like I'm shaking. Patty, you're so ready for some hardcore fucking, man. <laughs> She'd fucking oh. pass. Pass out at the uh, just the sight of a hard dick. She'd pass out. So would so would the guy whose dick she. That was fucking horrible. <laughs> Horrendous. She has no idea so how to touch so anyone. I had mako sharks grab my cock. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, that's so uh, embarrassed. Why? Nice, a twenty pound. Oh, yeah. Hooks a little. You had to hook a little. Make some money, so much. Pay for your cable or some shit. Exactly. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, All put right. that away. It's fucking five weeks for 401k. Yeah. Right there. One helmet grab. <laughs> what are you going to do with the $20, Patty? It's always good to ask what you're going to do with the money. I'm going to... Uh, oh, God. Well, I'm going to put some money on my Metro card. <laughs> and I'm going to go grocery shopping. <laughs> I need more milk, and I need coffee filters. What do you, what do you, what do you so a bag of rice? That. Coffee filters. How about you steal them from work, you fucking idiot? <laughs> they're, they're huge. They're huge, like high balance size things. That's, I won't go into my little tiny coffee maker. I gotta go to Dwayne Reed. That's the perks that's of the job. Every, every job has perks. In your case, it's coffee. Well, I get filters. free coffee every week when I need it. She's doing like fucking Tim Robbins did in his cell. She's actually stealing coffee. Coffee one ground at a time. <laughs> or grind. <laughs> the fuck it is. She's going to have a full pot someday. We're with you. Uh, oh, God. I'm still of, well, shaking. Patty's, uh, what, what do we call what we just did with Patty? Patty's. Uh, Painful. Patty's. Uh, <laughs> mood killer? <sighs> Penis yeah, Patty's yeah. penis squeeze was brought yes. to you by Direct TV. Call eight 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 nine six one Direct TV. Her what Direct music. TV should be doing is giving fucking Patty some Direct TV, and then we go, "Hey, Stalker Patty got Direct TV," mm. and you call eight 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 nine six one Direct TV, and you could have uh, Direct TV <laughs> as well. Oh my God, too fucking funny. Yeah. Patty, well, you want some coffee? How do you retreat? Oh, I got two pounds at home. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nothing to make them in, though. Just strain them through your panties. <laughs> <laughs> Put a rotten fucking, a rotten fucking red and brown panties in the coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> Filter them through that. I oh, should. All right. See, Patty, we did something different with you today. No screaming, no running out of here right. in fear. You didn't have to smell like shit. Nothing. Right. And tomorrow, if someone reminds me, I'll give you my change, which is a lot. Yep. I'd give you money now, but I swear to God, I have nothing. <laughs> for real. I might have enough for a cab ride home. Well, that was good. He just hung up. What was it? Said, I don't remember who it was, but it said Patty's Bank is capital none. <laughs> <laughs> a trip to the airport is all Patty could take for vacation. That came in. You sort of did that line, right? All right, Patty. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, you know, if you let's cut get your, the fuck out of here. It's snowing now. It'll take forever to get home. They could, you know, you could give your uh, hair to some kind of organization. Yeah. Help some, like, uh, cancer yeah. kids or something. Yeah, fuck that them. ain't happening. Yeah, fuck Have some kids. sympathy. Fuck the cancer right. kids, right? Please. Yeah. What cancer kid would want that? A mess. Mm. He'd walk over to the fucking, walk over to the Parker Meridian and go, look. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite bit no one gets. Can I wear that fucking straw fruit ball on my head? 
<laughs> Can I play with your hair this afternoon? Or are you going to keep it for yourself? Uh, All right, yeah, we got to go. Yeah, so, uh, blah, 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 Patty, thank you. Thank you, Patty. It's very entertaining getting to know uh, Patty a little better. That's very, very nice. We could have done that break ten years ago, my friend. Mm -hmm. Same shit. Same Different fucking decade. shit. She'd have been in the same position, destitute. Absolutely. This? Bad. Hey, I see a big crowd outside the studio. It must be Friday. Friday's yeah. the day to see the Opie and Anthony uh, show. There it is. Yeah, that's our big day yeah. for the uh, studio audience. Tuesday sucks. It's usually one or two people out there. Yeah. Very depressing. But Fridays, you get a nice crowd. And I didn't forget, I brought my change in for Stalker Patty. It's heavy, too. Oh, wow. I forgot. And uh, I yep. didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't bring any. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> How about like like Olivia in the Marathon Man? She can only take home what she can swallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we can't just hand the change over to Patty. No. So we're trying to figure out what to do with the change and Patty. I, th I already got an answer. What do you got? We open her asshole and dump in what she can take. Nice. Oh. That would be insertion, you know. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. Uh, no, just drop them in uh, yeah, from altitude. How about, yeah, how about you, you, you close the lid and tape it shut, and then we throw it at her face, and she has to catch it in her teeth. <laughs> it's just my ideas. Her chiclets. I wanted to just, like, toss all of this on the very cold sidewalk and make her, like, crawl around <laughs> and pick it up. In our, in our underwear. That's the best I got so far. Well, we don't want the hypothermia thing. You can't get What's it What's hypothermia? Huh? I said, you can't get it unless you're in water. Yeah. Anyone have an idea? Can you get hypothermia if you don't live in an ice box? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone have an idea for the Cold. change bit? Anybody? Danny, you got an idea yet? You're, you're a good idea, so, man. Somebody, some listeners brought their own change, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. How, how about, how about Hell's that guy from the Renaissance the period? Jesus. Brought him a little fucking pouch. What, ah. Danny? I'll put the spray on the money. Yeah, the liquid ass? Oh, that's no. actually the... So tired of that liquid ass. Yeah, I, I have to agree. Oh, it stinks. We thought about the liquid ass thing. Wow. Really? Wow. I think it's all quarters, though. Oh, it is? I'll, t I'll keep that. Someone has a flip <laughs> camera, I guess. Why? It looked like a flip camera pouch. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. The battery's born in the 1400s. He's trying the same joke again. Oof. Bomb. <laughs> Anyone have an idea for the change bit? Pat, do you have an idea? Just give it to me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Brooksy. <laughs> Brooksy. Oh, they used to call you Brooksy in school. Childhood name. Childhood name. Ronnie was doing a, stupid. No, Ronnie was doing a bit. It's like you know, what name did they call you in school? Which was uh, you know, mortifying, right? And Patty goes, "Well, they used to call me Brooksy. That's not a bad school nickname." Well, that's you didn't they... get the bit. <laughs> Uh, the only thing, I don't know, last year we had a rolling honey. We had to put honey on ourselves and rolling money or something. That's the... Yeah, it was called money honey. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Figure it out. I don't know, but that's what I, that's mm. the only, but that's what I've done. Before. Come on, we got, we got some very clever listeners. We got a clever staff, or some of the staff is clever. Can we, we stand we could... at the exhaust end of a jet engine and throw the uh, change in the front? <laughs> Who gave this change? That's uh, one of our new interns. He brought in his, oh, fuck. Uh, I'm keeping his this bag of change in as well. In the end, I'm going to make money off this bit. <laughs> no, we'll... All right, we got a lot of change. It's change day on the Opie and Anthony show, and we don't have an idea yet. How about bobbing for change? <laughs> oh. oh, bobbing for change. <laughs> yeah. Put some icy water, and she has to get her, her head all the way to the bottom. Oh, and just dig him out. <laughs> uh, I don't keep change. Someone's saying cover her ass in double-sided tape. And make her kind of squat and pick up as much as she can. Mm. She really needs the money, too. That is good. Oh, boy, that's does she. Work. How about this? I'll put a 20 on my fist and then just punch her with it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that. <laughs> Fill a, well, Mike in uh, Baton Rouge. Mike. Mike Mike writes, fill a bucket with shit and have Patty pick through it for her change. Yeah, it's a good one. That'll that'll get past the lawyers. Uh, how, are we allowed to, like, cover her ass in peanut butter and then have her sit down on the chair? Have a German shepherd give her the change? <laughs> <laughs> I would gather without any insertion, uh, yeah, that would be fine. Do we have peanut butter? Uh, we get can get some. some. That's easy. 
All right. No more playing jokes, by the way. We were calling it in for the those other fuckers. Yeah. We'll do some <laughs> real stuff over here. Yeah. Right? Uh, let's go to Rob on Long Island. Rob. Hey there, hey, Rob. Yeah, I got a little idea. How about you douse Patty in maple syrup, put all the change on the tarp on the floor. She has to roll around with all the change, and all the change that sticks to her, she gets to keep. I have a better idea. Mm, yeah. How about could, well, how, how cold is it out right now? It's, it's about uh, 12 degrees, probably. How about this? Yeah. We put her in her underpants. We throw... Like water on her and make her stand outside, and then we drop the change in the thing from the fifth floor and make her catch it, and it lands on her foot. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, that might hurt. Exactly. <laughs> Not as bad as that joke did telling us. Yeah, let's go to Bill in Charleston. <laughs> Bill. Hey guys, what's up? Hey. Hey, I got an idea. We could put it all in a sock and beat her with it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's go to David in Kansas City. What's going on? I'm learning there's not a lot of Patty fans out there. Hey, uh, yeah. what was, I don't remember what Western it was, but one of them, they used to put all the dimes in a shotgun. Oh, that was the good, the bad, and the retarded. <laughs> <laughs> what, sir? I said that in that one Western with Christian Bale, and I can't remember which one it was, they'd load all the dimes in a shotgun barrel and shoot them at people. Oh, was that Batman? <laughs> no, not no, Batman. No. <sighs> Give her some dimes, Joker. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, load up a shotgun with dimes and shoot her with it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that'll work. Will they, will the lawyers allow that? Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. After five minutes with it, they would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have the unedited version of your phone call from last night? I think this is one curse. I mean, it wasn't that. It was really because this is different. XM. Well, they're asking for the, uh, the phone call one, one more time. Oh, one more know. time. Because a lot of people were concerned that Jimmy might have been on a flight yesterday. Well, people, no, people thought that I went, might have been hurt because they know that I, I live there. And yep. the first thing everybody thinks of when something like that happens is, like, is Jim okay? Right. I understand. Of course. Very important to people, Jimmy. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm Us. a bit of a megalomaniac. So, someone's suggesting, how about you guys just give her the change and don't do anything on air with her? She's never funny, and you guys just can't seem to realize that. <laughs> mm. Oh. Who's that? That was instant feedback from God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought her uh, discussion yesterday was quite enjoyable, learning that she's collected seven hours of vacation time. Seven hours of vacation. After, after working for Starbucks for two years. And then she grabbed my cock the way hungry, hungry hippo grabs a marble. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, not very sensitive. Horrendous. It, horrendous. Not. On her own, she's thick. not funny or entertaining, but we kind of make something out yeah. of it. What if we play some kind of variation of cherry darts? Like where we could get like tape and we could get like double sided tape, cover her ass in it, and maybe there's point values and we could throw the change at her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if it mm. sticks, she gets to keep it, but then there's like zones. And if you get like, you know, a bullseye, it's worth like four times as much or whatever. Mm. Or ten times, whatever. We'd need double sided tape. That's easy, though. Or I'm, peanut butter. I'm really Seven. good at. F Fling <laughs> Jimmy's eye. And Jimmy Norton. Sorry, Jimmy. You hit me with this pen. He's got a show to do. Yes, he Three. does. Three. Uh, doing them all tonight. <laughs> Let's go to Tom in Virginia. Way. Tom? Hello, Tom. You're out, Tom. You Good. What's up? Yeah, maybe I could help. Hey, why don't you get her on all fours, get her naked, and you can stack all the coins uh, while you do the show, and whatever doesn't fall off, she gets to keep. Hmm. Let's stack the coins on her. Oh, um, uh. no, because then we just somebody just one thing she would do, and she'd go, Whoa, and she'd drop them. <laughs> <That'd be> awful. <laughs> you know, whatever noise she'd make. There's got to be something she could do for the change. Anybody have an idea out there, like a real one? Oh, please. I I guess we could stick roaches in the bag. With the money. This fucking kid has actually a couple of good ideas. It's just, we don't prepare. That's actually a great idea. If we had any preparation, that would be a great idea to do. Yeah. Because the roaches, and the roaches would be thinking that we're giving them the money, and they have to survive her dopey hands. <laughs> <laughs> do they clean up the roach problem around here? You yeah, really just Someone. open the fridge. Can we get some, uh, some kind of live thing? I don't know. Not in this weather. Can't even go outside and turn over a rock. Find a cootie bug. <laughs> All right, here's Jim's voicemail, because a lot of people were very concerned about uh, little Jimmy yesterday. And watch how it peters out at the end. This is why I should be shot in the fucking mouth with a cock. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let everybody know it's Jim. I'm okay. Um, I know that everybody's been wondering about me. Here's the issue is. The sandwich crash here in New York, and you're wondering if I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, 
wasn't on the plane. I don't fly U.S. Airways. I also don't fly to LaGuardia. But I live on the west side, right by the water, 20 blocks from where the plane went down. And I wasn't outside when it happened. I was in my apartment, and approximately the time it happened, I was, uh, I was balls deep in a girl's hiney. So I was having anal sex, and just thinking that if that plane had tried to get back to LaGuardia and made a left and banged, it could have hit my building and killed me. And that's how I would have died. Oh, it's my penis in a girl's hiney, but I'm okay right now, and I just want everybody to know that I'm okay. And I'm going to be fine. Boo. <laughs> it does Peter right out. <laughs> that Man. was the best example. In the dictionary, be under the word fizzle, they have a link to that fucking call. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I liked it too until I realized I had nowhere to go with, and I'm going to be. I just said fine. Fucking stink. Way to not plan anything out. Fucking fart tits. <laughs> Footer. <laughs> Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, we can keep with the Obama thing and uh, have Patty read a uh, an Obama speech every time she says, she says the word change. We just start hauling change at her. All right, now we're talking. Now, see the the bit starting I'll to start throwing it at her. Starting to develop a little bit. Mm -hmm. You yeah. get the Obama change speech every uh -huh, time uh -huh. Patty says the word change. We get to throw a handful of change at her. Of course, she would have to be completely nude, so she's completely well, humiliated. Of course. Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't have to say that. It's obvious. Or is there a good uh, change song? Money. Ch 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 changes. Oh, yeah. Changes. Uh, the, uh, change. Changes by Black Sabbath. When it's time to change the Brady Bunch. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Sorry, what is... <laughs> Come on, I know we could develop this in front of everyone's eyes. That's what we're doing today. Obama changed well, speech. Boys, <laughs> All right, you're on, we're on to, to change. Yeah. Dad punches another hole into his belt. <laughs> 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 uh, let's go to Tony in Canada. Tony! Yes? Thanks for your geese, fucko. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we had to do something, eh? Yeah, I guess. Yes, man, and Bush, when he got in, they dropped two towers. Obama's getting in, he's just getting the plane. Yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, well, wow. I'm from Canada, what do you expect? Yeah, okay, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> What if maybe we have a participant from the audience uh, audience uh, go oh, shirtless? Yes. We put the change on our shirtless audience member and then double-sided tape on Patty's uh, buttocks or maybe some other regions, and she has to pick the change up off of said member. Off of somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So or not, we don't have to do that. <laughs> no. How about, how about Patty's a virgin? How about she has to fuck at least two of the security guys that we give her the change? <laughs> Oh, my God. I know we can figure this out. We're kind of like, we're getting there. See, we're getting there. The creative process at work. Well, maybe we can see if Patty has any ideas. She's usually oh an idea God, person. Oh, me. her improv and, and uh, ideas are fantastic. Should we at least bring her in for a second to, to ask her, Pat? I think we she should. She went to the bathroom. Oh. Did she really? Okay. Yeah, why would she stay on the bleachers when we're talking, talking, we're talking about, about her? her. Right, yeah, right. you know. Yeah. She could have pissed before or, you know, yeah. during a break or something, but no. Uh, well, a lot of ideas coming in, but we're oh, waiting, sitting there. waiting for the phones to, to be answered. <laughs> <laughs> With that pissy sound going into the turlet. No, she's probably taking, like, those awful, like, diarrhea fart shits. Like, <laughs> like she pushes and it goes... Uh, you uh, have good bowel movements, uh, Patty? Patty? Um, yeah, but I had a pee. <laughs> oh, I was just wondering if you had good bowel movements. I do. Patty, look at all the change. I could pay some bills. It's a lot of money. <laughs> what do you want to do for the change, Patty? What's your idea? I don't know. The, the, the worst thing I could think of was that honey bit two years ago. The honey I'll never bit. Forget that. If I had to take a shower last week, I had to take three with that. What? Yeah, because everything stuck to me. We have a silly mask. A silly mask. Because we could just make this more of a visual. We go outside. Have her take the one she's wearing off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do we have a mask? What do we got? Uh, we can. Yeah. I'm sure we have stuff here, and if not, I know that we have stuff at the other joint. Yeah, Patty, take the Skeletor mask off. Yeah. I say <laughs> nothing on that. All right. I like it. <laughs> oh, the audience oh, boos. Uh, they, I'll accept their judgment. They boo with delight. <laughs> they certainly do. Patty, we might put the horse <laughs> mask on you. The oh. horse head. Yeah. Yes, and then we might uh, just toss this uh, change on the sidewalk. It's very busy out there right now, and, and you have to pick it all up. 
and then we'll do our stupid <laughs> the horse show. mask with the horse mask on. <laughs> Where's the horse mask? I think that's over. Yeah. With the other Can that's we go funny. get that? We have, we have, I think we have other options here. Yeah, we may. Uh, I'll go take a look. I'm pretty sure we do. What better? Uh, no, well, I mean, someone get the horse mask immediately. We got like ten interns. Get that, and let's see what Danny comes up with in the, the back, uh, the back room. The horse mask. The only thing is, I got to dress warmly because I have medical issues and hypothermia could put me in the hospital. Did she just say, it. Did she say hypothermia? Hypothermia. Oh, you have a really weird medical issue where hypothermia is bad for you? I have yeah. asthma. Oh, my God. Wow. How did you catch that? <laughs> what an and oddity. I have a heart condition. <laughs> and she laughs. Exactly. And kicks her foot up. <laughs> With whimsy. Oh, the bunny mask. The bunny mask. I like the bunny mask. Yeah, I do like the, the bunny mask. The horse mask is ridiculous. Yeah, the horse stuff. mask is humiliating. It's really bad. Where's the piggy mask, though? <laughs> Hold on, Patty, could you put this mask on? Oh, yeah, the pig mask. Yeah, I want to blow someone in the pig mask with this. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, put the bunny mask bunny. on. All right. There you now, go. Could you go on 57th Street and hop in front of a bus? <laughs> 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 that almost looks too cute. I like the horse mask better. The horse yeah. mask looks so ridiculous. What's the pig it's on mask? Its way. It's on its way. Okay. Do we have the pig mask? I don't that... remember having a pig mask. Can you yeah, see for fatty pig fatty? Oh, oh yeah. I haven't seen that in a very long time. Do we have a goose mask and an A three hundred? What's an A three hundred? It's a plain dummy. <laughs> Exactly. How do you not know anything about aeronautics? <laughs> I don't. It's only been on the news th for the whole day, yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about the big miracle on the Hudson there, Patty? I'm glad everybody got out. They didn't why, all get out. You know them? No. I don't know anybody on that. Then why are you glad? I'm glad they got out. <laughs> nope, there were no fatalities. Other than our radio audience yeah, during this bit. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put humor, rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Humor, we hardly knew you. Ah, <laughs> uh, Patty. How do you think we should... What, Patty, what do you think we should do to give you the money? Yeah. We can't, we can't just hand you it to you. You were talking about making a speech or something. Obama tends to say a few words over and over again, like, Change. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> Change. <laughs> so do I when I'm talking about him. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Jesus, Patty. You are about useless. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what to do with Change and Patty. That mm -hmm. doesn't entail hurting her. No. Like I'm not saying I, I, we we do it. I'm just saying I can't come up with an idea. I think I think the horse mask, the sidewalk, we throw it on the sidewalk. Now she has to pick up all this change of this cold weather in front of people. Let that happen. We do a radio show and and we move on. It's cold out though. So, you have gloves today. I have everything. Can I have pick up my, change on a sidewalk well with wrapped. gloves. <laughs> It'll take a while. <laughs> no kidding. Is it possible she could put on the horse mask and walk up to people? And every time she has to walk up and go, hi, I'm Patty, and I'm a stupid horse. <laughs> How about, hi, I'm a horse. Oh, all right. <laughs> Holy and then shit. Wow. And, then, and, and then what? And then we put you on a real horse and give you a Christopher Reeve mask and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm a horse. It's hi, I'm a hog, Patty. We treat you like uh, that horse that... Oh, fuck. Now I can't remember which, the horse's name. Which horse? Ardoon? Yeah, no, the one that... You are, okay. <laughs> Ardoon would be a good one. I was thinking the one that they put the tent up around on the <laughs> yeah. track. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, bo uh, no, no. Yeah, Barbarossa. Bar no, Barbaro actually lasted for a while on its right. hoof. The paw. The hoof. The hoof. The paw. What is that? It's a sin, yes. must. How about one of us puts on a horse mask and treats her like a guy in Seattle? <laughs> 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 All right, we'll uh, we'll take a quick break. Why don't these her. survivors go home? What? Why don't these survivor guys go home? I've had enough of this one guy who's like the who's like the face of the plane crash victims. Yeah, I'm tired of him and his thin lips. 
He got from, fucking stupid hairdo. The like Giovanni he, Ribisi of uh, the air. Looks like he, got, me. he got brand new clothes for his big interview on uh, MSNBC. Exactly, huh? with his big shitty ears. That's probably what happened. The wind resistance was cut down by his <laughs> uh, fucking <laughs> big shitty flap ears. He's pointing himself out on the wing like a exactly. class picture. Yeah. Hairs. I'm um, um, right there. Yeah, this is me doing nothing but being rescued like the helpless f fucking <laughs> fawn that I was. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's Mr. Big Shot. Where were you when the fuck on the wing? You stood there like every one of the other slobs. <laughs> his brand new jeans. Who's the fucking hole? I uh, think that's probably his wife or something, huh? Oh. He's She's bringing crazy. her over. Oh. Oh, she looks good. Is she another, pregnant? I'm sure another survivor. Or just, all. uh... That's a survivor. Is it? Yeah. I think so. You gonna yeah. bring her over? A little bunt. Yep. Yeah, she does have a little bunt like on that. her there. So what did you do when the plane went down? I ate 40 cushions. <laughs> 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 All right. Now this guy's mad that she's there yapping. He's trying to get his side in again. Yeah, taking up her, his spotlight. He's like, look, I thought we were going to die. I jammed three fingers in it. What do I know? <laughs> what do I know? That's what I always said I would do. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody says. I just grabbed the nearest chick and started Talker. fucking her. I can, I'm lucky if my dick stays hard under ideal conditions <laughs> in a hotel. <laughs> yeah, out of crashing plane. Yeah, as everyone's bracing for impact, my penis would wilt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. Fuck. Good. The graph with a giant plane flying over, where the wings <laughs> touch both sides, Jersey and New York. So it's been a new bridge. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway through, you're in the cabin. <laughs> that's a fucking. That's a huge plane they show uh, in the graphics. The graphic is horrible. All twenty-seven thousand passengers survived. <laughs> I apologize. It's not built to scale. <laughs> Miracle on the aircraft bird strikes. In two thousand seven, there was seventy-six hundred. Wow. They're becoming a problem. They're counting cars and bikes and skateboards and everything. Else. <laughs> <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. Now, what is the news saying? Oh, we're not going to cut Patty's hair. That's no. a, that's for change. We've, no, we've done Out. that. And Patty would call the authorities at this point, right, Patty? Oh, I'd probably die. No. What's a uh, shut up? What's uh, <laughs> what's interesting about you is you used to be into things like that, like the cutting the hair, the the weird things, and you wouldn't do anything sexual. Now you're like a sexual monster. Yeah. You're touching cock. You're fucking, <laughs> you know, getting naked. You're letting people diddle you. You're putting fucking vibrators up your pussy. You're doing all kinds of stuff. You had and a finger in your bum. You had a finger in your bum? My finger. Remember we were, that? Jimmy's finger. We were allowed to oh, do that, that remember? Was it was in time. your bum. Yeah. <laughs> one in your bum and one oh. in your slit. No. Bum. And then you grab my penis yeah. the way a trap closes around the leg of a fucking, of a mink. Probably made up Jimmy, for lost Jimmy time. Jimmy had to chew his dick off to get your hand away from <laughs> All right, let's, all right, the horse mask has arrived. Let's at least look at the horse mask. Oh, it's great. Let's put the horse mask on, Patty. Patty. There you go. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm starting to think that Danny doesn't like Patty. <laughs> No, it's just funny. She yeah. puts it on and goes from the back to the front. <laughs> See, I was insinuating she was a horse's ass. And now she's... Oh, fuck. Can you see, Patty? What? Oh, my God. It's all dented. Can you see? Yeah. Exactly. See. It, looks like a, it looks like a horse with AIDS. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a horrible horse. Yeah, who sat on the horse head? The horse is dented. Its nose is dented. I, to be fair, I think it's been sitting around the office for about two and a half years. Oh, really? Well, that might be why. There well, it Patty, is. Pull out that horse's cheek. There you go, Patty. Dude, I just just say this really loud. I'm, hi, I'm Patty, and I'm a stupid horse. Hi, I'm Patty, and I'm a stupid horse. <laughs> <laughs> now say that while running full speed at the window. No. <laughs> she looks like the baby in Eraser Head. <laughs> Without the mask. <laughs> yeah, that was before she put the mask on. That mask looks so silly. It is a silly, silly mask. Is it getting hot in there, Patty? You'll steam it up? No, it just feels weird. I've never worn a horse's head before. <laughs> oh, well, who has, Patty? Really? I don't think you have to really say that. I like right. the tuft of fuck. I like. Look at like the horse is wearing Pacino's wig. Got to get lifts from a hooves. Yeah, <laughs> thick horseshoes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter there, Patty? You don't uh, oh got no idea. Just wearing a Feels horse weird. mask. Yeah. It's yeah. very strange uh, acting like a horse. You're not acting like You're a horse. Like a you horse. have a stupid horse, like horse mask on. <laughs> Gallop around the room for a minute. Gallop? 
Gallop. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Why is she doing Palsy that? horse. Shit, though. I just want to... She needs to be put down. Should we just throw it on the sidewalk and then no. move on with the show? Literally. Five floors out okay. the window. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Speaking of that, goddamn that fucking, uh, what's his name? Patrick McGowan. He died the same day, uh... Yeah, what's Where's his name? Where's he from Escape from Montalban. Uh, yeah, I think he was, yeah, Ricardo Montalban. But the, my favorite was uh, in Braveheart, when his gay son had his gay lover, and he was like his advisor to the military, and he walked into the uh, room and, uh... Asked his, his his son's gay lover what he thought about the situation as he put his arm around him, guided him toward the window, and then just heaved him out of <laughs> the fucking window. <laughs> Best oh. scene ever in a movie. I don't remember that part. Oh, it's fantastic. How high up were they? Oh, real high up. The guy just fucking st splattered on the ground. I, um, I, if he's the same guy I'm thinking of, is he the one from Escape from Alcatraz as the warden? I think he's the warden. Yeah. I love it. No one has ever escaped from Alcatraz. He's got his fucking the greatest yeah. clip speech. Oh. He's now dead. Yeah. He's dead. Poor Doc. Just wanted to paint. Yeah. Took his painting supplies away. Yeah. Because he didn't like the picture of him. I love that picture of him. <laughs> his eyes were all wide. Yeah, wide. <laughs> I'm the warden. I'm watching. <laughs> eh, right. All right, Patty. I think we might just throw this on the sidewalk and move on with the show, and I'll maybe get a little video or something. Because I don't know what else to do with it. I don't know. I have no idea what to do with you and change. Yeah. <laughs> You cut your legs oh, off. <laughs> Something. What, Patty? I guess the sidewalk. With the horse mask on? I guess so. Or we could see how much change you could, like, you know, put in your panties. Ew. What kind of panties you got in the out back? There? It looked like a big load of shit. Yeah. <laughs> and Anthony panties. <laughs> oh, one of your three pair, right? Let me yeah. see your panties. Come on, horsey. Let's see your panties. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We pour the we pour the change into your panties, and as you know, you try to keep as much as you can in your panties. Uh, how about this? I, I know that the stink stuff we've used a lot of. Yep. yep. But is there? I wish there was something that we could dump that stink stuff into, and then put the change in there and make her rifle through that, so she has to get the stink stuff all over her hands and all over the change. Oh. We wouldn't want to smell it, but they wouldn't. No, want that. The no. Audience, yeah, the audience well, is no, begging for it. it. They're begging for it. They would like it a lot. At this point, they'd... then she'd have to have that stuff all over her hands and the change in her pocket. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. I think the honey was worse though, because I had to take three showers with that. <laughs> yeah, we heard. Yeah. How many showers after the honey? About two or three to get it all out. It's amazing how she just changed <laughs> the that number. that was so sticky. But, and it wasn't just honey. It was maple syrup, too. Well, wow. you didn't even shower after that, did know. you? Well, I had to go home. You, why didn't you shower? <laughs> how many showers did you take? Yeah, you and, and I actually had to take the train that way with everything sticking to me. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my you God. You should have showered. Everything. Why didn't you shower when you got home? I did. Once? Two or three times. <laughs> I think I think I thought of something. Uh, we could still do the street thing. Yeah. You know how there's usually, and I hope he's there, but usually there's a filthy, disgusting bum. Yeah. Yes. Well, what if the change happened to spill out, and then they, and then her and the bum have to fight <laughs> it. <out of> <laughs> And she, of course, has the disadvantage because she's wearing the horse mask. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. And I'm sure she'll be quite intimidated by, by scary, smelly homeless guy. By a homeless, bummy guy. I'm afraid of those people. Some of them are not. Well, we'll see how, exactly. much, yeah. we'll yeah, see so how much you want your bills paid because uh, that's what we're going to do, I think. <laughs> yeah, it is a good one. Can we get the cross-dressing bum, too? Is he out there? Oh, that's just a today. mean motherfucker. That, oh, that boy, thing. Oh, boy. Where is he? Fucking Harry Dean Stanton in a sexy wig. What <laughs> a creep that guy is. Harry <laughs> Dean <laughs> 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 <Can> we, <coughs> maybe we could give you like a maple syrup, like um, hair Animal. washing, and then you use your hair to pick up the change. Ugh. There's a lot of it. Oh, sticky. So right. we just handed the change. <laughs> yeah, at this point. Fuck. Roll it up in duct tape and throw it at her. <laughs> Are you hitting her with it? You hit her right, right square in the head. Patty, you have head protection on. So what are yeah. you covering? You have a yeah. horse mask. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Patty, what are you scared of? 
Oh, hope he's quite the marksman with that, uh, oh, look on the change. I just, I'm fearful of a bum shot. He's, he's flipping, flicking the change <laughs> at her, and she's it. trying to dodge it. It's hard because I can't see too yeah. well. That's because you're wearing a protective horsey mask that won't hurt if you get hit with a yeah. penny with it. Why are you covering with your hands? He's not what are you covering? Balls. I don't know, but it's, it's weird. You're weird. Cool. Leonard Lawrence has entered the studio. <laughs> I can't get out of the way in time. <laughs> it's, it's just a penny being flicked at you. Why don't we just hand it to her? Tell her to put it in her pockets. <laughs> And move on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, I thought he was. All right, we'll take a break and move on with the show. It's change day. Patty gets mine and a few other people's change. Dude, today. I probably have two hundred dollars worth of change in my house. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I don't save change. Whenever I get it, I leave it in whatever store I'm in. Like, cause I can't. I and and you know why? The iPhone. Because I've got to put my iPhone in a pocket, and I, if I put change in the same pocket, it scratches it up. You realize that's how much up. it's worth? Yes. <laughs> Piece of shit that is. Scratches it up. Oh, cool. So I just take my change, and I'll leave it, like, you know, somewhere where some little kid will grab it and go, ooh, I could buy some candy. I'll be wearing your pants. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> what you ought to do is leave the change in your pocket, and then you have to make a call, put the iPhone on one ear and the change on the other, and notice the exact same thing happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll figure it out after the break. Right. All right, Opie and Anthony. Oh, oh, this is oh, not what I'm used to. Here it is, live. It's the Opie and Anthony show. Nothing but foul language and toilet humor. Oh. For the new listeners who think that we've learned our lesson. Uh -uh. Well, here's a short list of the things they've been saying. Poopy, malarkey, tiny, cooly. Let me titter. I get it. <laughs> Someone pinch me. Whoopity do. K sera sera. Mumbo jumbo. Good natured joshing around. Hoppycock. Poopy jokes. Silly. Hamana hamana hamana. We just chit chat and go nuts. What do you think of them apples? It's lame. It's not even fun to listen to, you know? I don't know how they could screw up something that simple. <laughs> but boy, they sure did. The virus. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the microphone. Helps during these things. You want to play all the latest video games without paying 60 bucks each to try them and buy them? No! Try Gamefly, the smart, easy way to rent video games. Gamefly, they got over 6,000 titles, including January's hottest new releases, Call of Duty, World at War, one of my favorites, Afro Samurai, and Resistance 2. Gamefly also has a huge selection of your favorite classics. Here's how easy it is. You just sign up, you select your games, they got over 6,000 titles, and Gamefly is going to ship it directly to your door. You can keep the games as long as you want, and there's no late fees. Shipping is always free. How do they do it? Once you're done playing a game, you send it back, and Gamefly is going to send you the next available game on your list. Or, if you really like the game uh, you're playing, you simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website, and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly is even going to mail you the case, the manual, all free of charge. Isn't that nice of Gamefly? Go there. Gamefly, G-A-M-E-F-L-Y dot com. Gamefly. What do we got here? Oh, following uh, the success of their initial MMA event, Affliction Entertainment returns with Affliction M1 Global Day of Reckoning, live and pay-per-view, Saturday, January 24th at 9 p.m., 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, the explosive six-fight MMA pay-per-view event will be headlined by Russian sensation... Fedor Emelianenko! As he attempts to defend his World Alliance of Mixed Martial Arts, heavyweight belt against world top-ranked heavyweight... Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky. The blockbuster pay-per-view also features MMA All-Star. As he takes on the experienced... Gilbert Eiffel. Other fighters featured on the card include... Matala Lindland, Renata Babalu-Sabrail, Chris Hedrecki, and Dan Lazan. 
The event is presented by Global Boy Promotions, starring Donald J. Trump. Taylor! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. For it. <laughs> That's what but we is. have coming in Monday, by the way. Yes, I'm we very do. Psyched. You're coming back just for that, right, Jimmy? I am coming back just for that. Uh, again, that fight between him and, uh, and Arlovsky should be a great fight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think he's the best heavyweight in the world. We're looking forward to this uh, big time. Affliction, M1 Global, Day of Reckoning, live on pay-per-view Saturday, January 24th at 9 p.m., 6 p.m. Pacific. Contact your pay-per-view provider to order. All right. Back with the Opie and Anthony show. We're in a quandary with this uh, change stalker patty bit. I got it. We're pretty much going to give up on it, obviously, but... I got it, Opie. What do you got? We hand her the change, and she has to hold it, and they put a firecracker on her clit. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the shit I like with Patty. Oh. Bang, 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 bang. Little Les Claypool. There's a plane in the water. What happened? Is this Primus or one of his uh, side projects? No, no. This is Primus. This is off oh. pork soda. It's called DMV. Oh. Do you like Primus? I love Primus. Yeah. Rules. Really? Yeah, I never got a chance to see him either. So I'm really pissed. Why aren't they still playing or no? No, it's like Les is doing his own thing. Like sometimes he'll be with some of the guys. Sometimes he'll be with some other guys. But it's okay because it all sounds like this when yeah, it's it Les. Does, but <laughs> I, had, I, I had a chance to see him and I, and I, I could have went to... Metallica one night and then Primus the next night, and instead I chose to see Metallica twice. You should have. It's all right. It's not like you fucking went to the Carpenters. Yeah, not like you saw Little Anthony and the Imperials to <laughs> fucking Ritz somewhere. <laughs> hey, um. Great show. What a performer. Yeah. That was wonderful. Tears on his pillow. Your lips to God's ears. <laughs> John Velvey had a funny cover that I was like, Tears on my pillow, stains on my sheets. La la la. <laughs> <laughs> la la la. What was the goof line though? Stains on my sheets. Oh, just stains on my sheets. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's more to it. <laughs> um, American Life's a good song, I promise. It is, actually. I've used that uh, I've used that one before for things. All right. <laughs> Secret show. Right. What? Secret show when? No, nothing. I just used that song as a... As a oh, oh, as part oh. Of the During the secret show. I see. All right, Patty, would you want to just grab your change? I'm very disappointed in the fact that we couldn't come up with at least something... Well, it was sort of impulsive yesterday, and, uh, you know, then with the plane crash, it wasn't really one of those big, although, the, or the uh, water landing, as I like to call it, it wasn't really a top priority to mm -hmm. come up with it, so then... No, no, here's the difference. What? Yes. If we have change, and we hand it to Patty, that bit crashed. <laughs> 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 yeah, where well where is the fucking idiot? Patty still Patty, sitting Patty. there with the yeah. horse mask on on the bleachers, Patty. Here comes Patty again. Oh my god. She can't even walk with it on. She's she's walking like our governor. <laughs> I guess <laughs> that too. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Hi. We go back to Hi. you in the horse mask. Now nah, you're broke. We all know this. You owe money to your fucking cable bill, right? Your phone, your rent, everything else. How much rent do you pay a month? Well, now I reduced it to four nineteen because I went and got recertified. Recertified as what? For Section 8. You have to prove your income what are you, two clinger? times a year. <laughs> She's too crazy to fucking be in a regular house. How do you, how do you learn about this stuff? Yeah, you did your research on so fucking glomming, glomming off of fucking society, didn't you? No, I was Yes, I did. I went to leech.com. <laughs> it. it took you four years to get it. Yeah, because you're on a waiting list, so you have to wait. Right. That's what a waiting list is. Yeah, you have to wait. Yeah. That's good. Danny's uh, teaching Hip Hop Ron how you mic someone that's I, wearing I wasn't holding it a horse. You, you were. I, I was holding it head. <laughs> yeah, he was. No, he was holding it in the uh, in see, front of the horse's <laughs> mouth right. on a horse mask. But see, I was not. It was like a 12 yeah. inch yeah. Yeah. Like snout see, off of the mask. The person wearing the horse mask, you would actually mic the throat of the horse mask. Oh, okay. I got which it. would be close to the, the mouth of mouth the person is. wearing the horse head. 
But if a real horse ever comes in here to talk, you're the man. To <laughs> yes, yes we're Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. For our exclusive interview with a horse. <laughs> we got the man for the job. Yes, Jimmy. So you got your uh, Section 8, and you got it reduced? How did well, you find out you could even do that? my income went down a little bit. So it's you based know. on your income? So what, wait, the, your income went from what to what? Well, it went from, uh, I don't know, 16500 to like just oh. below sixteen, like on 1590 A day? Something like that. And oh. A year. Oh, shame. Yeah, so it goes up and down accordingly, and it slides, and, you know, it's a grant. And uh, a grant? the city picks up the rest, you know, but I waited for No, the years city doesn't pick it. up the rest. The taxpayers pick up the rest. Well, I also get taxed heavily, too, you know, with my insurance and taxes. Are you out of your fucking mind? You don't pay income tax. Yes, I do. They take. I'm you get it all back. Income. Yeah, I take. They, I get 15% taken out plus my health insurance. Wait, 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 wait. 15% tax. In April. Yeah. When you do your taxes, I always get a refund. You get a refund that is a hundred percent of what you put in. Yeah, but the last few years I didn't collect all of it because I owed taxes that were back taxes. I finally paid them all off, both that way and you know just sending the money. So now I don't owe anything. So you don't pay tax. You I don't get everything back. But you, so you don't pay taxes. Well, they take them out of my check. But you get it back. Yeah, you stupid horse. It, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, you get it back. Yeah. Okay. So you make 16 G's. And then uh, your rent is, uh, what would you say? Four what? Four nineteen A month? Yeah. Wow, that's kind now of it steep is. for us. Before a, I was paying five. Bef you know. Oh, boy, they must love that when they reduce it. Oh. What is it? Wonder I've seen you on Pal Talk. You got like one single light bulb. You're like in that jail cell uh, from... Uh, well, it's only one room. Hopefully it's caretakers. <laughs> caretaker. <laughs> it is like caretakers fucking jail cell. I want to uh, fill your bulb up with gasoline. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm content with what I have. Yeah, right? Brooksy. What? Mm. All right, Patty. I guess we just give you your change and get the fuck out of here. I gotta go. Trying to make a stimulating conversation with her, but it just doesn't work. You some change. change. Oh I think God. you dropped a little change. It scared me. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> that hit my foot. Yeah, no shit. Oh, really? Oh, no. Let's see where this where hits. Oh, there it is. I have a feeling Patty, this change. Patty, step closer. I want to hand you the change. <laughs> yeah, throw it at me. Uh, what? Step forward a little bit. I can't. Just step forward. I wouldn't throw it at you. No, move her over there. Patty, here's my change. <laughs> now clean it up! <laughs> Enjoy. Be a change picker up, but just like your father. <laughs> Why is she rubbing her legs? I didn't hit you. Yeah, you're wearing on the floor, maybe. giant fucking boots. Because I Patty, can't see fine. Get a hold of yourself. You're right, panicking and ruining the show. Uh, now, Patty, get you're a horse. You're supposed to say it spooked you. <laughs> Patty, get naked because it's very hot in here. And then start crawling around and pick up your change for everybody, all right? Okay. Well, at least we made something sexy out of the bitch. Yeah. yeah. You want me to crawl? No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Watching. Oh, God oh, damn. No. Patty, send her to the glue <laughs> factory. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. I'll see you later. Let's All say right. goodbye to Jimmy going down to going down to AC. Yeah. Got some tickets available maybe for Sunday show. Yeah, I'm going to be in the long, area. In a long drive. Ooh. Bye, boys. I'll see you next week. All right, Jimmy. All right, James. Uh, pa <laughs> what is she? Why are you covering your head? <laughs> I wish I could see. Patty, what are you doing? We're not even paying attention to you. Just the head moves to the part where it's the cheek, and you can't see. Do you, do you, real, do you realize you'll be there for hours <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like you're seeing double almost. Huh? Oh, really? We should just have her keep the horse mask on, and uh, oh. right through Ron and Fez, just keep collecting the change. Until she dies of asphyxiation. <laughs> yeah, well, the 
This mask on it'll take forever. Yeah, it certainly will. Forever! She almost kind of like I taking on a horse kind of unbelievable. All right, Chris in Arizona. Chris. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. I got a quick question. Yeah. Now, we all fuck up in life and we you know, get into situations we can't control, but this is a woman who it's claims to, to be say. very smart. She's got a degree, college, college degree. How the hell does she, after all these years, never gotten a real job, eight hours a day, making a decent salary? I mean, what the hell is the deal with that? Uh, she's got mental issues, obviously, that we exploit on a regular basis. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Great radio. <laughs> I love it. All right, later, later, boys. All right, yeah, because she is a very good worker, but she's doing something wrong. Yeah, because she should have a forty-hour-a-week job. Right. She should be she, uh, in her own place without right. government subsidy. I, I'm amazed that, uh, with all these, you know, faithful listeners, not one of them have figured out a nice little spot for her. A little job. A little job. Yeah, it's not going to break anyone's bank if they own a business. They'll get a really good worker. Hmm. It's too bad she lives in the city, you know? We could use help like her at uh, the old restaurant. That's another thing. She <laughs> decides to fucking live in Manhattan. Right, of all places. The only place I could get. Nothing else was available. How do you Are you out of your mind? You, you, can you know how much cheaper it is to go into some fucking shithole in Jersey? Newark would be perfect for Yeah, you. Newark would be great. <laughs> you could live in a penthouse in Newark on four nineteen a month or whatever it was. The term, the bus... The train terminal and Ferry Street. Yeah, no trains go to Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, path. <laughs> Patty, you're going to have to And she goes, yeah, path. Patty, you're going to have to take breaks because if you take the horse mask off at any time during this, then we we take all the money back. All right? All right. All right, let's uh, say hi to Footer. Footer. Yo, what's up, guys? What's going on? Hey, man. Hey, oh, you're going to appreciate this one. Um... Back when Aunt, um, Danny had said earlier about going to see Metallica twice instead of seeing Primus or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, back in like 19, probably I want to say 1990. Right, hold on, man. <laughs> All the change Patty picked up, she dropped on the floor. She can't even do this job right. I think she was trying to put it in the bag. <laughs> what happened, hip hop? She went to put the money in the Ziploc bag, and she just missed it completely. <laughs> so now she's got to start over, and it's that's all. That, uh, after yeah. five minutes, that's all she collected was a handful. Oh my God. I apologize to Ron and Fez in advance, but this is how it's got to go down. She doesn't get to just quickly pick up the change. She's got to start over again. She missed the bag yeah. in one hand with the change in the other hand. All right, go ahead, Footer. Motor skills of Michael J. Fox. Yeah, Footer. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, my buddy calls me up and he's like, hey, he's like, um, I'm going to the limelight tonight. He goes, oh, I'm going to see a few bands. I don't know who's playing, but I'm going down there. So uh, I go down there. I mean, uh, so I end up not going down there, and he ends up telling me it was uh, Smashing Pumpkins, Pearl Jam, and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers was like the main group. And right. I totally just blew it off for like no reason. You probably could have been like ten feet from the stage, you know. I saw that my gig. Story how, oh my God! Uh, yeah, no, Billy Corgan. I, I met him behind, you know, any one of those fucking things. I blew it for no yeah. reason. That's that, I went to that gig, and Smashing Pumpkins opened the whole thing up. And I, w I was the guy that said, who the fuck are these assholes? They'll never make it. You yeah, man, exactly. That's exactly fucking God. Uh, great. <laughs> All right, boys. Have a great day. All right, thank you. Hip-hop, how, uh, how much change has she picked up? She got her original handful back. Handful? Yeah, a handful. There's hundreds of handfuls on the floor. Yeah. She keeps moving from pile to pile, not realizing there's all in one, it's all one area. She yeah, why don't you just around. clean up one? You're grazing like a horse. Right. You're going around... Oh my God! She's put one by one by one. Oh, there it goes All into right. her pockets. Yeah. Into the pockets, Patty. They're in very her uh, nice. sweatshirt. Looks like you have a bunch. Oh, I know. Now it's all sagging down. Looking good, Patty. Yeah. By the way, you can't. Uh, someone is suggesting that we don't give you a bag. You you got to just carry it home any way you yeah. can. Yeah. It's with the fucking baggie. You're yeah. breaking the rules. What hip hop? No, oh, there's a hole in it. She realized there's a hole in it. Oh. She's picking up pennies. Them. What? Why don't you pick up the the oh, higher yeah. denominations first, so that when we fuck you over, uh, you'll at least have that. <laughs> what is she doing? She's like, how could you not see? There's 80 holes in that fucking horse head mask. Are you getting hot in the horse head uh, mask? Yeah, a little, but it's hard to see now because it's. We know. Down is it hard to see in it? <sighs> All right. She just won't shut up. We got the prank call from the Access show. Yeah. This, this is worth playing, right? What is that? Little audio man pranks public access show. Well, ah. yeah, it's like it's it's kind of like a double 
header thing. I mean, on one hand, he's trying to prank the uh, this public access show, but then on the other hand, the guy who's doing the show live is having a problem with getting rid of him. Oh, really? So not only does he have to deal with a prank caller, but now he has to deal with a prank caller he can't get rid of. Ah, <laughs> so. nice. Let's take a listen to this. Uh, let's see who this is going to read out here. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hey, um, you said you, uh, you learn from your viewers and, and they can learn from you. Um, I have a question. Sure, be nice now. Was Jesus gay? Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe if you, I think that would probably be a question for you to ask me, sir. I would, I would, I would really like to ram you right in the back hatch. Uh, why would you say you're, you worked on a ranch before? I want, I want I, to I, you, I think I worked, uh, on a ranch too one time. Can we off red shirt ad? Your red shirt is ad. Look at this struggling. Yeah, I know. That's all right. Oh, man. What a fool. Look at you, you pizza. Okay. Bob, bitch. So you have to understand it's live, right? And so as he's pranking him, he's watching him on the television. Right. So he's yeah. See, so now the guy's fumbling on his little phone bank, and that's when you hear the guy on the phone go, "Ah, look at you struggling." <laughs> you red. <laughs> what do you call him? Red shirted ass. Just a red shirted ass. <laughs> red shirted ass. He couldn't hang up on him. You're struggling, struggling, struggling. Who are you talking about, folks? All right. Rickety cricket, chirp, chirp, DJ. Yeah. Rickety cricket. Let's put Daddy Mag up. Daddy Mag up. Come on, turn it off. Turn it off. Find the button. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So basically, in that wow. clip, now, the guy is, the guy's panicking so bad that he he because obviously he can't disconnect the call. So he thinks the the in a panic situation, the best thing that he could come up with for his show is to just try to drown the guy out with a, with, with an a, with Aldo music. Nova song. <laughs> so he obviously hear me goes he goes yeah no well now no one can hear you and it's just like well I got news for you, you know, show host no one can hear you either now you're just playing music on <laughs> like what's worse <laughs> having the guy just you know just you know hand you your own ass or just play a song how could he not the tell the guy off I don't know. He was. He was. Uh, somebody, I'm sure, could have helped. Like, yeah. like she's but, uh, struggling. But oh man, were they not helping at all? Like, and he's just pressing buttons, and nothing's working for him. <laughs> Good. It was just so great to see him in a panic. It's hard to hear, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't remember it being so so muddy, uh, muddy like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going off the reaction of the people on the bleachers. They're. Oh well, you can ditch it. That's fine. Thought it was funny. You know, it's eight just weeks hard. Ago. To, it, it's just hard to hear. Yeah. It's like tinny, mm -hmm. muddy. I thought it was funny though. All right, like I'll fix it. When anyone's fucked. All right, Patty, how you doing? Uh, it's the horse. <laughs> no, don't do that. Please. No. The horse head is slipping, and I can hardly see where anything is. No, uh, she so can hardly see 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 the the change. Change. Well, well, You really need the change, though, Patty. Having such a hard time. Patty, I might just invite all the listeners to come in and collect uh, change. <laughs> You might have to fight the rest of the audience for it. Yeah, the pennies also look like dimes if you look at them fast enough. Yeah, if you're colorblind and have no sense of touch. How, how about you go for the quarters? They don't look like anything but yeah. quarters. Yeah. it around. That makes it harder to see. <laughs> she is a fucking mess. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> well, just taking a look at... What are you doing? Well, oh, Patty. pulled it off. Who pulled the mask off? Yeah. Patty, they're calling a penalty. That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, don't do that. Jesus. Wow, she's really <laughs> hanging on. She really hung on to that. Danny tried it. Oh, there goes the change That's again nice. on the Come floor. On. Patty. My knees are hurting. Are they, you whore? Your arthritis. <laughs> your She's arthritis. Got arthritis as she tries to pick up change to pay her bills. This is hilarious. Why don't you um? Hardly any of it. 
nothing. It looks Why like don't you use the bunny mask as knee pads? Mm-hmm. No, I don't want to hurt. I don't want to ruin the you mask. You don't want to hurt what? <laughs> the bunny mask. You're, like, really stupid. Because <laughs> she's picking up the same change for the third right. time now. <laughs> you fucking wreck. Yeah, uh, actually... Huh? I'm just thinking, Anthony brings up a good point. I mean, she really is retarded because I could think of probably seven better ways to pick up that change yeah. than, than doing what she's doing, which is just using her thumb and forefinger and trying to pick up each coin individually. Yeah. You're not going to give me a bro. <laughs> no, no, but I think using, I think that there's, there's certain, you know, you have like no survival skills. Like, <laughs> how, like, how would you, like, how would you ever survive like you have to use things around you to your benefit and i just don't see how you're not grasping that concept a simple tool you can definitely sweep <laughs> it she into, is. A, into a pile and then get a little more than one at a time yeah what's the matter with and you that's why i'm not going to help you because i think you deserve to sit there and pick up each coin individually <laughs> because if you don't have the brains to actually figure out how to do this efficiently then that you yeah. deserve to be there on your knees like that. You gonna roll those up, Patty, or just take them to the bank like uh, in your sweatshirt? Patty? What? Holy shit. What? You gonna roll those up, or you gonna just take it to the bank like that in your sweatshirt? You can just put, go to TD Bank and just drop it in the machine. Yeah, they got free coin anything. counting or whatever the hell they call oh, it. Oh, that's what I saw Reed just yep. doing. Yeah, wow. All right. The good news is we only have 37 minutes left in the show, so uh, we'll take a break and figure out something next. Opie and Anthony. New from ONA Films, the story of a mentally ill vagabond dog without a home. Daddy! I, I want to be your friends. I don't want to lose contact with anybody. We're not your friends. I didn't... I'm going to have to cut your loose, Penny. Forced to sleep in hallways and closets, her life was one major disappointment after another. I mean, how many times can we shave your head? But I don't want to lose anybody. You don't have anybody. Desperate for attention, she wouldn't go away. Patty was living here, didn't ask anyone's permission. No matter how harsh the abuse. Oh, Take the leg! Please! Take the leg! Don't do it, please! I don't want anyone to see me! I can't go to work like this! You'll laugh. You'll cry. You'll want to strangle this annoying derelict. Daddy! We have no use for you anymore. Bye-bye. The Virus XM202, Sirius 197. Oh, yeah, the economy uh, got you down. Wow. <laughs> uh, let porn.com get you up. You get it? That's a joke. With the largest collection of adult scenes, photos, and full-length DVDs on the net today, including almost, get this, 17,000, yes, you heard right, 17,000 porn stars. Porn.com is your horny new homepage, which is, if you put that as your homepage, maybe at work, N-S-F-W. <laughs> yeah, your horny homepage uh, for instant recession relief. Hey, size matters, and when it comes to uh, selection, porn.com is huge. In fact, it's so big, it'll take over 15 years to watch everything on it. And uh, the scary thing is, it's growing every day with daily updates for the freshest content. Porn.com guarantees whatever you're into, they got you covered. 45 different categories of delicious premium porn. Add to that unlimited downloadability and lightning fast speeds, and it's easy to see why this is the king of all porn sites. Plus, every Porn.com membership comes bundled with boner a uh, bonus access, <laughs> hearty har, to over 38 exclusive sites. How's that for a happy ending? So log on to Porn.com today and discover for yourself why it's the world's favorite porn site. Right now, you can save up to 80% off regular monthly rates. Go to Porn.com. What an easy name to remember, Porn.com. Go there now for this special limited-time offer. Mm. 
We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. We just checked in with uh, Patty. She's uh, breathing really heavy. She she thinks she needs her asthma medication. She's a fucking mess. You're right, Patty. <laughs> Patty. What? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You're breathing I'll heavy. Survive. Huh? I'll survive. Do you need your asthma I'll medication? Survive. Patty. What? Do you need your asthma medication? I'm okay. I'm fine. You were breathing all heavy, though, and you're fucking, like, talking about your asthma and your arthritis. It's okay. You're a fucking wreck. Eh, I don't need it. What? And I'm also, sick. did you work I'm today? Breathing. I'm fine. Did you? Shut up. Did you work today? Not today. Yesterday. Did you shower? Uh, yeah. When was the last time you showered? Be fucking honest. Don't lie. Last night. And don't lie, because I'll know. Yeah. Yeah. Last night. Because we're getting night. reports. I, I shower every night. We're getting reports that you stink. I don't. That you have <laughs> B.O. What do, what do you think about that? Well, what about your clothes? Did you wash that uh, sweatshirt? Uh, actually. Actually what? No. no? Actually, no. Back on again. All right. Oh, see, that's why you're uh, reeking then. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not. How much I change did so. you give collected? No, you are. You collect a lot of change already, Patty? Uh, I guess. I can't... T you know, it's hard You're going to be here all day. Did. Yeah. Hey, where's my uh, my buddy Danny? Is he out there? He smells like a horse. Right here. Yeah, come on in here, bro. Are you broke? Now nah, nah, I'm not broke. You're, you're not broke? Nope. All no. right. That's open for debate. <laughs> I'll take... I'll, I'll take... I'll take... I'll take the money, bro. You'll take the money away from Patty? Yeah, I'll well, take No, nah, you're, if you're not broke, whatever, it's fine. What's going on? Oh, you don't care. He's taking it anyway. Oh, Danny. <laughs> he got right Danny, down there. Whoa. He what are you doing? He got right down there, and he's taking it. Yeah, get get on mic here. What's going on in your world, sir? And I'm, not much. I just did, just did a, just helped out with the moving job. A moving job? That's that's big for you. See. Yeah, I was helping out with the moving job. Is that yeah. what you do? Yeah, I, I help out with movie jobs. My sister's father. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's uh, a lot of like heavy, heavy lifting and stuff, right? Yeah, it's a heavy lifting. It's, it's heavy lifting. The boxes you're, get heavy. But you're not you're... like a big guy, though. It seems like it might be a tough tough job for you. Usually when I see movers, they're big, like, burly men. And that's why they sometimes have two people sometimes. Yeah? The really heavy stuff, you got to have two people. Most, most of the time for... But but because of the economy, it's mostly storage than it is moving. Oh, people storing their stuff. Yeah, my my sister's father has has these storage containers somewhere in Fairfield. Yeah, how many bodies are in there now? At since Fairfield, you uh, Connecticut, I no I, the combination. <laughs> I I have no idea what the what the what the heck he puts, what the heck they put in those boxes. I just know I just help them. I just load, I just load them on, I just load them on the truck and uh, just pull them out of the truck. That's all. Fascinating. Hey, what do you think of the uh, the train uh, the the plane crash there? Well, coincidence enough, yes, I w I was watching uh, season four of Lost. Right. So it's just coincidence that this happened to happen, and I said, "Damn, what what's the odds of that?" I'm watching Lost, and this happens. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? You watch a TV show about a plane crash. What? Coincidence, though, and, though enough. Speaking of plane crashes, I had a crazy dream a week ago about about I'm on a plane. I happened to be on a plane that happened to be an oceanic. Yeah. And Black Earl was the was the pilot. Oh, oh really? That's trouble right there, right? Yeah, yeah that's trouble. You certainly didn't make it to your destination, then, yeah. huh, sir. Yeah, that's trouble. And Did my he pass out while and, he was trying and, to land. And, and my sister, for some reason, is playing around with the liquid ass. Oh fuck! Wow, that's, what's going on there? That's kinky. I, I I don't know what the heck she's doing, but she's just spraying it all over the plane. Yeah. And I'm telling her, don't no, say say no, shit, and keep that away from Black Earl. Yeah, that's a weird dream. It's a show dream. Yeah. You have a lot of show-related dreams with people from uh, the radio shows. No, sometimes, usually, sometimes if I'm watching a movie or something, maybe I've I've had dreams about that. Yeah. I remember once I had this. I don't know. I'm watching uh, this show on the cable, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Of course. And there's this like, there's this talking meatball like character, the Meatwad. Yes. And I had a crazy dream where 
when we, for some reason, meet, uh, uh, there's a gigantic meat wad in the house. I had cartoon dreams when I was six. I remember once Casper made a duty. And uh, that, was, uh, that was usually when those stopped, but so you have cartoon dreams, huh? No, no, not really cartoons. It's usually sometimes it's if I'm watching something, if I'm up late and I'm watching something, then it becomes something. Once in you your watch dreams. porno, so you could like, yeah, you know, maybe nice get a little dream. in your dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that actually happened once. Where I uh -oh. fell, I fell asleep at a porn, th a, a watching one once. Wait a minute, at a porn theater? No, no, no. You're no, gonna no, say? No, 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 I'm at my house. Oh, at your house. You're watching a porno. You fell asleep, and what? You started dreaming that you were in the porno. Yeah. Did you make cumsies on yourself? Yeah, you're yeah, something like that. It, and embarrass, embarrassing, embarrassing enough though. I, a phone call wakes me up. Oh Jesus! Oh boy, that's embarrassing. Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. Who could that, that have happens. been on the phone? I don't know. It was with my cousin for some reason who who for, who for a while has had, is having all these concerns ever since Obama's won the election. Yeah. Well, he has all these. Maybe you could give me, all these weird. Give your concerns. cousin my number. <laughs> We could hash it out. What's uh, his concerns? Uh, he he's just having concerns about all lo losing money, having a, a being overtaxed. Yeah. Am I your cousin? <laughs> no, no, Very concerned. <laughs> no, no, but but easy enough. You. You could easily fit. You'd fit in very well with a lot of my relatives. Really? Why do they hate you too? <laughs> no, 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 they, no, no. It's for some for some reason they're always very entertaining. Those. Oh well, thank you. My, That's good. Do, do they? Uh, does uh, yeah, this cousin have a problem with Obama uh, for any other reason? Maybe racially no, or anything? The, no, he's he, no, he's just concerned about this country turning into a communism. Turning into a communism. They have been turning to communist countries. Right, right. Oh, sure. Yeah, well, he's very socialist uh, programs that he wants to put in there, you know. I know. I've, for a while, I think almost, it was like a, like almost like a month after the election, I'm getting calls and I'm saying, is this another Obama call? And he's, and he's, point, and he's pointing out something on, a, on Hannity, and, Hannity and Combs. And I'm, do you, I was, do I was, you like Obama? I, I got very mixed opinions about this guy. What what do you like oh. about him, and then what don't you like about him? Well, the thing is, he's he's like a big question mark. Yeah. So it's like I have no, so I can't complain about him there. But at the other part, though, <laughs> this is just he, like kids say the darndest things, yeah, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it so is, so the positive, the what is a question mark? That's the bad thing. Yeah, the quest, the question mark is. Either there's something good going to come out of this or something bad about it, because he, he doesn't say anything. Positive, all, maybe. All, every time I see this guy spoke during the election, all they keep saying is, like, we need change in just about every sentence. Yeah, well, that was yeah. his catchphrase, sure. Every sentence, we need change. Yes, we can. And you got an impression? Like what? Wow, you sound like the real people. That, 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 that's all he seemed like he keeps saying, all right? Yeah, right. What what are you talking about, change? What kind of change uh, are you talking about? I say, if you want change, then I'll I'll mail you some change. I'll send it to sixty ah, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. What Avenue? So that's what you don't like about him. What do you What do you like about him? You said you had mixed, you know, yeah. feelings. So that means you. Well, the good probably... thing is, I have a feeling that maybe he'll he'll put more troops in Afghanistan and finally get that fucker by the name of Bin Laden. Hopefully. Wow, you're way off. Of that. Well. That ain't happening. I don't think so. He might pull back a little bit, my friend. He might be going think... that direction. Hey, someone said that you said uh, that you helped your sister's father, right? With the moving thing? Yeah. Wouldn't oh. that be your father? It, she's got a different father than me. Okay. All right. Oh. That answers that. Same mom, though? Yeah, same mom. All right. But she's not the only She's not the only si sibling of mine that has a, that has a, that, that, that shares only one parent. Really? I, no, no, I got two brothers that share the same father. But two I, I, bro wait, wait, wait. You have two brothers that have the same father and your mother? No, no, no. I got two two brothers that share only the same father. My father. Your father. Your father? Yeah. And then you have another, a sister that shares the mother. Yeah. The fuck is going on at your place? No, no, it's simple. My father had a previous marriage. Prior, yeah. prior to my mom. Yeah, we figured that much out. 
And then my my sis my sister, of course, has has a different father. Right, Danny. uh, Now, last Mm. time you were in here, you were talking about your neighborhood. Is it getting better? You were you were bitching about what the Mexicans was it? I was just saying there was too too many illegals. Too many illegals, right? <laughs> Ill- illegals. And they're like uh, leaving trash on the lawns and stuff when they're waiting for jobs. Yeah, actually, not only that. Oh. It's a freaking reason why you're why people are why we're all overtaxed to this country. Why? Too many of them. Because of the illegals. Yep. Illegals. <laughs> what do they do that makes us pay so many taxes? Symbols. I'm having the, the, the them being here in this country, sneaking in, and actually sneaking getting in. getting getting past the borders and the, practically living here illegally. And that's hurt, hurting our taxes. Here it is. Well, that's fascinating. Wow, you should be president. Yeah. What else is going on? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing this weekend? Uh, not, not, not much. Just. Don't look at me like for an invite. I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, come by the house. <laughs> I'm not. Huh? Nothing. Not, I'm not doing that much. What do you much do for just... fun? We don't. We barely know ye. What are you doing for fun? What do you do for fun? Oh, simple. I just go. I go. I go visit. I go visit some of my friends. Yeah. Are yeah. they real? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. What do you do with your friends? I don't know. I f- watch movies, play video games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I sub sub sometimes I sometimes I I invite them when I'm going someplace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're very vague, Danny. You really are vague. Like you can't say ah, well, you know, yeah. we go to a certain bar or we hang out and in- like when you go places like where the mall, some the Xbox, movie, no, or- no, sub- sometimes uh, sometimes a restaurant down with out in the out where I live. Yeah. All right. And I see you wearing a, a Pink Floyd hoodie. Yeah, it's, it's a shirt I got for Christmas. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. You, like, you like the Pink Floyd, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice shirt. What's and your favorite the... Pink Floyd song? Mm, I, I don't really have a have a specific song, specific favorite in particularly. No. Any uh, ladies in your life uh, lately? No. No, no dating. No, no, not lately. It a lot well, last last time was. Last time was when I nineteen, but that late that broad moved away. That what, broad moved when away. Off, when you get off the nineteen year old, did, unfortunately she moved away before I got anything off of her. Ah, damn her! Really? Yeah, yeah damn her. <laughs> what were you going for? No, I th- no, I thought I was gonna get something off of her, but then she fr- she freaking all of a sudden out of nowhere thought th- thought it was so cold. And she she just said I don't know I think the reason she said she was moving was it says so cold, you just couldn't take it. You sure she didn't say it'll be a cold day in hell? No, no, she thought it was so cold here. How cold was it? Well, I don't know, but I know cold enough she moved someplace warmer. <laughs> oh my god! He made her move. Oh my god! <laughs> and I I I I I didn't tell. I didn't tell her to move, but I said, said, I said, if you can't take, if you can't take it so cold, then what the heck are you, you, you living here in the winter time? Sure. And then she, oh, uh, so you kind of gave her the idea to leave. Yeah, I can't. Good move. Wow. I just keep looking and just, yeah, we're yeah. just not getting to 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of regretted that It's one. called, it's called trying to get traction. Oh my God, the fucking clock is going backwards at this point in my brain. What, what happened? Oh, that would just no. Yeah, yeah, that hap- that that happens to me a lot. If I'm if I'm going bad. some, if I'm going right. on some long trip, I think I think it's some, I think I'm closer than I think, and then all of a sudden I'm I'm further. And right. Yeah, right. objects and mirror are closer right. than they appear. Right. That's no. why. Right. Yeah. All yeah, right, I'm buddy. I'm looking out the window when I think it's a. Uh, all it's right. I swear. All right, just uh, yeah, self the most hanger. disappointed audience I've ever seen. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny, thank you so much uh, for coming in and trying to save the show, but uh, I think we uh, failed there. They're uh, calling, you, they're calling uh, you Radio Mold instead of Radio uh, Gold. Aw. <laughs> uh, uh, What's, What's wrong, the matter? Patty? Would you sit the fuck down? Patty. God oh, damn you, hey. dunce. What are you, why are you breathing so heavy? What's up? Are you done uh, collecting the change? 
It's my mesothelioma from working in the shipyards. But now I... Oh, wow. She's really stinking? Dude, really? Yeah. Patty, it's We're, just a no, dumb... I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, no, dude, sit down and shut up. Get E-Rock. I want a smell test on Patty. Oh, E-Rock. You could smell it from up there? Yeah. yeah. E-Rock, smell Patty's time. armpits. Could you please? Spire, what? <laughs> Shit. No, get right in her armpit. Yeah, her hair smells too. And smell really? All right, what are we armpit. smelling? Our armpit? No, yeah. Just take this off. Wow, E Rock, you want to see yeah, your Yeah, E Rock. Huh? All right, you sick fuck. That's E Rock's fucking. E Rock's uh, fetish. Yeah. Alien body. Take it off. Ooh, shower now. Is it oh, E Rock, is it bad? Yeah, she's just flapping her shirt around. All right, smell right under that armpit. Get in there, get a good sniff. Patty, <laughs> Patty, what are you doing? You don't wear, you don't do a little, uh, you know. You wear deodorant? Yes, I do, but when I exert myself, uh, I have to, yeah. That's why I always have to take a shower when I get home from uh, work. If you had headphones on, you would know that mic's not working. Yeah. I, I just I'm want just to hearing go. strange space noises. I, I just want to go. It's so stupid. Thank you, Patty. You could, you could pick up the rest of the change without the horse mask on, all right? Yeah, and, to, and do, do it slow. I just have to take another shower, that's all. I'm, oh. no. How about you? Look at her. She's fucking got more mics around her. Oh, what? Stop that. You might get her an it's asthma attack. It's pretty bad, Patty. I yeah. Stop that. I'm not... Don't breathe that in, Patty. You're going to have an asthma attack. Patty, let us know, like, Monday how much change that was. I'm curious. Here, I'm sure will. I'll call in and let you know. Oh, thank goodness. Now, hip-hop, why would the mic work now if it wasn't working before? This is a different mic. Well, now, that one's uh. working, but it wasn't when you put it in front of the face. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, stop it. Now, I really have to take the Yeah, he sprayed it right down her ass crack. That's probably a real treat down there. Yeah. Ass crack, uh, you know, that doesn't usually smell when you're all sweaty. <laughs> all right, Patty. Yeah, stay seated. You're a fucking wreck. Every time you're on the show now, we got to worry about you dropping fucking dead. Yeah, we can't do bits with you you're anymore. You're heaving, huffing, and puffing. You're fucking arthritis. Your asthma. Your fucking heart. Your lungs. No, you're not. <laughs> you can't even you're a up. fucking sickly individual. You can't even pick up change without it making it look like you just ran a marathon. Yeah. All right, we're uh, we're closing out for the day. Thank you, Patty. Thanks, Patty. All right, take your change and pay a bill or something. All right. Yeah. Okay. Want to thank the audience. And, yes. Uh, thank you, peoples. No, no, no. Do we have any other slug lines we have to get yeah. through before we say goodbye oh. until Monday? We good? No. Yo, man, we square. Are we square? We're a square. You shot me in the fucking face! Yeah, line of the day, or Patty picking up change, or whatever the fuck they want to sponsor, is uh, brought to you by DirecTV. Call 888-961-DIRECTV. You don't have that DirecTV, do you, Patty? No, I don't. Oh, you have cable, though. So you have regular TV, not to be confused with direct TV. Call 888-SHUT-UP-961-DIRECT-TV. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on Monday. Have a great mm -hmm. weekend.